Long Chen, stop. Those experts adopt the divine pillars roared at Long Chen. Their practically cheating method of absorbing the Grand Dao energy was being disrupted. Long Chen ignored them, cutting down the divine pillars one by one. Every time a pillar fell, a whirlpool would cease, and the Grand Dao energy in the air would grow denser. The experts rushing over were so excited that they shouted. This mad bout of Long Chen's was benefiting them. Long Chen, I'll go all out against you. One of the Xuan beasts suddenly roared, transforming into an azure rock that attacked Long Chen. Scram! Long Chen shouted, slashing Evil Moon. The Xuan beast's sharp claws were severed, and he tumbled back, screaming, Long Chen, don't go too far. We already paid the price for safety. Why would you attack us? You're going against your own word, shouted Di Fang. You want to play word games with me? What does cutting down Pill Valley's pillars have to do with you? Do they belong to you? Why don't you ask all the people around whether or not cutting down these pillars counts as attacking you? Sneered Long Chen. No, nope, it doesn't count. Definitely not. Those experts shouted collectively. What kind of joke was that? The more Long Chen destroyed those divine pillars, the more fairly the Grand Dao energy would be spread to them. Even the people from the ancient races, the Xuan beasts, and the ancient family alliance stood beside Long Chen. Or perhaps more accurately they were standing on the side of what benefited them the most. I'm going to enter the Brahma Divine Palace, but these pillars are blocking my way. So naturally I have to cut them down. If you try to stop me, you'll be my enemy. So we can face each other with blades. Long Chen once more swung Evil Moon, cutting down the divine pillars one by one, and making the experts on top of them furious. They wanted to attack Long Chen but that was limited to those who were still on the pillars. Those who had lost the pillars had lost their reason to attack. The people on the pillars were hesitating about whether or not they should fight when Long Chen cut down their pillars, not giving them a chance to ponder. Long Chen, you bastard, it hurts. Evil Moon roared. The impact of each strike against these divine pillars was endured by it. Just endure it. It wasn't easy to make up such an excuse. We can't give it up. Long Chen continued to attack. Actually, each attack brought with it a backlash that caused his hand to bleed, but he gritted his teeth and endured it. When the final pillar was cut down, the Grand Dao energy had reached an unprecedented density. All the disciples unleashed their manifestations, quickly absorbing that energy. Long Chen, just wait. Within the crowd, Leng Wufeng glared at Long Chen. He had been disturbed at a critical moment. He had felt that he was just the slightest bit off from fully awakening his manifestation. It wasn't just Len Wufang. The others who had been on the pillars weren't looking at Long Chen in a friendly manner either. Amongst those experts, Long Chen also saw the dual sword wielding Lu Zichuan. It seemed that he had long since joined Pill Valley, or he wouldn't be standing there. As for Di Fang, Zi Luo, Yan Wei, and the others, there was even less to be said. They had long since wanted to tear Long Chen to pieces. Fine, I admit that I like seeing you so irritated without being able to do anything to me, chortled Long Chen. He knew that these people wouldn't attack, at least not right now. They had all reached critical moments, being only one step from fully awakening their manifestations. As long as they weren't fools, they would endure. Long Chen was about to leave when Evil Moon's furious row rang out in his head. Hurry and gather those pillars. Those are my compensation. Long Chen was startled, but he didn't ask any questions. He waved his hand, sucking the divine pillars into the primal chaos space. Di Feng and the others had yet to recover from their fury when they saw Long Chen taking the pillars. What are you looking at me for? Did those pillars belong to you? What does taking Pill Valley's things have to do with you? Long Chen didn't give them a chance to say anything. He directly flew toward the palace. Evil Moon vanished from his hand, reappearing in the primal chaos space and stabbing into the stone pillar. The pillar reacted by lighting up, trying to force Evil Moon away, but it immediately dimmed back down. Evil Moon was surrounded by Black Chi, and its two dragon marks lit up. It began absorbing the energy of the divine pillar. Evil Moon, since those are useful to you, it wasn't a waste for me to spend so much effort helping you cut them down, said Long Chen. Shut up. I was the one who noticed that I could absorb a portion of the divine energy inside the pillars, said Evil Moon disdainfully. 
Cutting down these divine pillars had caused it to yelp in pain. It didn't have a physical body, but as an item spirit, it could still feel pain. Only after enduring that pain did it suddenly realize that it could absorb a portion of the energy within the divine pillars. That portion was perhaps just 10%. The other 90% wasn't absorbable. Expelling that useless portion of energy was troublesome, but it was worth it for the remaining 10%. Little heaven, come and absorb it as well. I'll teach you how to do it. Evil Moon actually called out to the heaven flipping brick, teaching it how to absorb the energy. Little Heaven was actually quite afraid of Evil Moon, but Evil Moon was sharing this energy with it. Long Chen would not use the Heaven Flipping Seal unless he had no other choice right now. Each time he used it, it would use up all its energy, and then it would have to slowly accumulate energy again. He normally only used it as a life-preserving talisman. The shocking thing was that even after not using it for so long, the Heaven Flipping Seal's power was still rising. It seemed that it could continue accumulating energy forever. Long Chen never managed to get a grasp of where its limit was. With Evil Moon's instructions, it began absorbing the Divine Pillar's energy with it. However, amongst those teachings were a few curses about how stupid it was. However, the Heaven Flipping Seal was used to it. Although Evil Moon was fierce, at least it shared the good stuff with it. Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal focused on absorbing the energy of the Divine Pillars. As for Long Chen, he was now close to the palace. However, there seemed to be some spatial law that kept him far away from it. He was still flying through the air. Di Feng and the others felt an urge to charge toward the palace as well. After all, that was clearly where the apex inheritance of the Brahma secret realm lay. Should we go? Wondered one person. However, Di Feng shook his head. That ultimate inheritance definitely can't belong to us. We can't go. Any idiot would know that a true inheritance like this couldn't be left for an outsider. Since Pill Valley dared to let them absorb the Grand Dao energy here, that meant that they weren't afraid of them noticing this palace. Long Chen is surely courting death. Only the divine daughter Yu Kingsuan is qualified to enter this palace. Even the Valley Master himself couldn't enter. If Long Chen really enters, he will be eaten alive by the palace, said one of Pill Valley's experts. This expert's combat power wasn't especially high, but his alchemy arts were amazing, so he was greatly valued by Pill Valley. There weren't many people on Pill Valley's side that had actually been qualified to come here. It was unknown if it was because Pill Valley was so generous that they were leaving more opportunities to their allies, or whether they simply didn't have the talented people to send. When Long Chen approached the first stair leading up to the palace, two giant stone statues sprang to life. They were 3,000 meter monsters, and when they opened their mouths, runes shot out, transforming into runic swords that slashed towards Long Chen. Despite doing his best to dodge, one of those swords pierced right through his shoulder, causing blood to spray Novaloon.com ha ha ha. Do you see? That was just a warning. If Long Chen dares to force his way through, He'll definitely die, said that disciple from Pill Valley. Hopefully, he doesn't. Long Chen has to die by my hands, said Zhang Shianba. HMPH, you've already lost to him and aren't qualified to fight him again. Long Chen's head is fated to belong to me, Len Wufang, sneered Len Wufang. Zhang Shianba's expression sank, but before he could speak, Long Chen had charged back onto the stair, and this time, he managed to avoid the runic swords and smash into the runic gate of the palace. The runic gate had not been visible before. Only once Long Chen got close did it reveal itself. Long Chen smashed into it and was blown back, as well as struck by a dozen of the runic swords. Long Chen let out a shout and took out a rod, smashing one of the stone monsters. However, it merely shuddered for a moment and then blew Long Chen back. The void shook intensely and the whole runic formation grew sluggish for a moment. Even the runic swords vanished. There is a way. Long Chen smiled, and the power of the Azure Dragon circulated within him. He smashed one of the stone monsters once more. Long Chen noticed that when the stone statues were fighting themselves, the runic swords would vanish. The beasts were clearly bound by a formation. As long as he destroyed one of the beasts, it would break the formation. Long Chen repeatedly smashed one of the stone monsters. Normally, in the secular world, 
Households with status would have two stone lions guarding them, but these two stone monsters had the bodies of lions, the wings of falcons, plus a horn and a tail each. Long Chen didn't recognize what they were. Long Chen struck the statue harder and harder. The entire palace was shuddering. Those experts that had entered a meditative state were startled awake, unable to stay in that state with this disturbance. All those experts stared in shock. Had Long Chen gotten addicted to destroying things? Did he also want to destroy the Brahma Divine Palace? Boom. Divine light exploded, and some kind of fragments flew through the air. Those fragments were the rod that Long Chen had been using. It had exploded. Not good. Some of the fragments of that divine item flew toward them, piercing their bodies. One of the corrupt experts was rather unlucky and was cut in two. Fortunately, it didn't hit his head, or he'd have died. Long Chen was crazy. Even his divine item couldn't keep up with him. But Long Chen didn't mind. That divine item had belonged to Man Bashan, so he didn't care about it. These stone statues were extremely tough. Even the explosion of a divine item hadn't harmed them. However, the one that Long Chen had been beating was damaged. Its divine runes had been broken, even though its actual body was still intact. With its formation destroyed, its attacks came to a pause. Long Chen reached out to grab it. It's so heavy. Long Chen was shocked. Having seen that the monster's feet were able to leave the ground, he knew that it wasn't one with the stairs, but he actually wasn't able to pick it up. Five-star battle armor. Only once he activated the five-star battle armor did he barely manage to lift it into the air. Get in here. Long Chen immediately sucked it into the primal chaos space. Boom. The entire primal chaos space shuddered as it thudded to the ground. Even Evil Moon and the Heaven Flipping Seal were startled. Heavenly Meteorite Stone. Evil Moon let out a startled cry. It recognized the stone that the statue was made of. Haha, <laughs> this is good stuff. Boom. Just at that moment, the other stone statue was tossed in. Hearing that it was something good, the heaven flipping seal flew toward it. Fool, get back, shouted Evil Moon. But the heaven flipping seal ended up touching the stone statue. Before it could even attempt absorbing its energy, it was sent flying by a terrifying power. Several cracks appeared on its body. Evil Moon cursed. You idiot. You can't absorb it that way. Go absorb more energy. Once you recover, I'll teach you how to handle it. The heaven flipping seal obediently went back to the divine pillars like a chided child. The experts outside were stunned. Their eyes almost popped out when they saw Long Chen actually take away the two stone statues. After putting away the two stone statues, Long Chen turned to the rest of the palace. His attention was drawn towards the 18 stone pillars in front of the palace. Those stone pillars were gigantic. They were what propped up the gates of the palace. He was like an ant in front of them. He grabbed one of the pillars. But even with the five-star battle armor, he wasn't able to make the pillar budge in the slightest. I'm not even close. Even the Azure Dragon battle armor wouldn't work. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head. If he could at least rattle the pillar with the five-star battle armor, then he might try bringing out the Azure Dragon battle armor. But if he wasn't even close, then there was no point in trying. Are you joking? Each one of these pillars is made of the heavenly meteorite stone. They're millions of times heavier than those stone statues. A single one of them is as heavy as a star. Don't waste your time, said Evil Moon. Ah, then I can't suck in this palace, asked Long Chen. There's no way to talk with you. Evil Moon almost cursed him. Those two stone statues were added later. But the rest of the palace was made by just one whole piece of heavenly meteorite stone. For you to actually want to take it all away, your brain must not work. Hearing that, Long Chen immediately gave up. It seemed that this treasure had no destiny with him. Seeing a good treasure but not being able to take it away is so painful. Long Chen sighed. Evil Moon said. I really look down on you. It was never yours in the first place. So what are you so pained for? As for the experts outside, seeing Long Chen trying to move that stone pillar but not being able to make it budge, they found it shocking and funny. So Long Chen really had been planning on destroying the entire palace. Unable to take the pillars, Long Chen could only leave things like that. He walked toward the gates. The word Bama appeared on top of the gates. When that word appeared, Divine power surged out. 
forming a golden praying mat beneath Long Chen's feet. Heavens, he can actually get in. Has he received the acknowledgement of the palace? How is that possible seeing that praying mat? Everyone was stunned. Could the attack of the stone statues really have just been a test? Having passed the test, could Long Chen enter? They felt like they were going crazy. How could Pill Valley's rules be so messed up? Someone who destroyed everything they owned could be allowed to pass through so easily? Where was the logic in that? You want me to kowtow? Do you think your qualified killing intent appeared in Long Chen's eyes? Perhaps to others. This was just some grace. But this was an insult to Long Chen. That feeling came from the pride within his soul. Just as everyone was filled with envy that Long Chen could kowtow and be sent into the palace, Long Chen raised Evil Moon and slashed apart the praying mat. What jaws dropped? They couldn't believe their eyes. Boom. The praying mat transformed into runes. The sight of it shocked people. Long Chen had refused? Just what was he thinking? Do you think that you, Brahma, are so amazing? Would you even dare to accept my kowtow? I don't need your approval to take what I want. I'll take it myself, sneered Long Chen. In truth, Long Chen was intentionally releasing his fury. He wanted to awaken his other will and probe its secrets. His actions seemed to have provoked the palace, and divine light condensed, transforming into a blinding sun. It was like the entire world was about to be crushed. In front of that divine pressure, every expert outside involuntarily knelt on the ground. The rage of a god could not be blocked. Long Chen's divine ring shuddered. Long Chen didn't take any action though. He simply allowed his body to react. His 108,000 stars and the primal chaos bead shook. Some kind of energy slowly grew within them. This is the power of the primal chaos bead. Long Chen focused closely on these changes. It seemed that this was a way to control the primal chaos bead. However, he didn't have time to closely examine it before the world shuddered. Long Chen's will clashed with the pressure of the palace. The sky dimmed. It was like eternal night had descended. However, while that darkness came suddenly, it also left quickly as if it had never been present. But for some reason, the palace's terrifying divine pressure had vanished. Too bad it was too quick. I didn't get to see how it worked Long Chen side inside. The primal chaos bead possessed terrifying power. It was his absolute treasure but he had no idea how to use it. Currently, all he could do with it was draw things into the primal chaos space and then suppress them. But when it came to living things, he would need to bring them in through his spiritual space first. The scarlet blood spirit fish had been brought in that way. However, when fighting, could he possibly draw his enemies into his spiritual space? Was that any different than suicide? Long Chen had been constantly thinking of ways to unleash the power of the primal chaos beat outside, and now he finally saw some hope. However, that feeling had faded too quickly for him to sense it. The primal chaos beat seemed to have suppressed the Brahma Divine Palace's divine pressure. Long Chen walked in and didn't receive any more attacks. He pushed open the gates. The gates were extremely heavy, and even when Long Chen was going all out, they only slowly opened. They were thousands of meters thick, and his arms hurt from the effort. Finally, a crack appeared that he walked through. As soon as he entered, the gate slammed shut. The sound of the slamming shut startled those experts awake. Some of them flew over, wanting to enter as well. However, the divine pressure that had previously been suppressed by the primal chaos beat once more flared. Not good. Those experts' expressions changed. Although the first group of disciples retreated instantly, some of them were still killed by the Divine Palace's sudden attack. As for Zhang Shianba, he had been at the front, and his arm was wiped out of existence. What is going on? How did Long Chen pass? Zhang Shianba let out a furious roar. Not only was his arm gone, but the remnant divine energy was suppressing his healing abilities and attempting to destroy the rest of his body. They had just seen Long Chen walk in, but now they were blocked by the divine light. Zhang Shianba felt like he might explode out of fury. Was the Brahma Divine Palace also a bully? What they didn't know was that the reason Long Chen could enter was because the palace's divine pressure had provoked the primal chaos bead's power. However, they were unable to sense the power of the primal chaos bead. All they had seen was that the Brahma Divine Palace had tried to scare Long Chen with its divine pressure. 
and having failed to scare him, it had simply let him waltz right in. When it came to them though, they weren't treated the same. The palace wasn't just trying to scare them, it was really killing them. If they hadn't retreated fast enough, even more of them would have been killed. The most incomprehensible thing about it was that Long Chen was Pil Valley's mortal enemy. He had destroyed his way to the Brahma Divine Palace, even taking the two guarding statues. But the Brahma Divine Palace had just let him be. But as for obedient people like them, it refused to allow them in. Just where was heaven's reason? Didn't someone just now say that it was impossible for Long Chen to enter, and that they would eat the palace if he could get in? I want to see it, demanded someone sinisterly. Before this, a disciple from Pill Valley had said that if Long Chen could enter the Brahma Divine Palace, he would eat it. Now that his words were brought up once more, his face burned. Go and eat. We already have photographic jades ready. Your name is about to shake the cosmos. What are you hesitating for? It couldn't have been bragging, right? Could it be that Pill Valley's disciples have no skills other than conning others? More people joined in on the jeering. The so-called core region. The so-called barrier-breaking beads. The so-called curse of the gods. They were all just one lie after another. They had all been exposed by Long Chen. Pill Valley's sinister schemes had been fully exposed. All the good opportunities within the Brahma secret realm had long since been reserved but they had still used them to trick the neutral camp's experts onto their side. Without Long Chen exposing all this, anyone who fell for it would be stuck in Pill Valley's shameless trap. Their fury had long since been brewing, and now it was unleashed on the disciples of Pill Valley here. Bullshit. Do you think you're even qualified to enter the Brahma secret realm normally? We didn't even ask you for anything, but we let you in for free. HMPH. Thankless ingrates have some shame, shouted that disciple of Pill Valley, that only added fuel to the fire, at this time, 99% of the disciples that had entered the secret realm had been drawn over to this location, of those people, there had been a portion prepared to use the barrier breaking beads to enter the core region, the bait had just been too enticing, the difference in the grand Dao energy between the core region and the outer regions was immense, enough to shake their hearts, then adding on the possible inheritance lands and the legendary 11th tier medicinal pill, the core region had possessed a fatal attraction. However, once Long Chen opened a path for them to enter for free, they found that other than the density of the Grand Dao energy, the rest was all nonsense. The main reason people had wanted to enter was for the promised opportunities, but those were kept from them. After being played like that, their fury soared. Fuck you. You might have let us in for free, but do you think we don't know your intentions you think we're idiots? This is all Pill Valley's trap. You wanted to use the Brahma secret realm to turn us into your fighters. How vicious. If it weren't for senior apprentice brother Long Chen, who knows how many people would have fallen for this con. I really don't understand how Pill Valley can be so malicious. More and more experts began to curse Pill Valley. They had almost lost their futures because of this so they were filled with resentment. That disciple from Pill Valley's expression sank. How could he talk back against so many people? He raged. Shut up. If you knew it was a trap, why did you jump in? You can only blame yourselves for being stupid. There are no free lunches in this world, but since you came to eat, you have to pay. Even if there was bait, you willingly took it. Hearing him say this, Defunk frowned. This disciple's brain definitely wasn't screwed on right. Perhaps he had spent so much time refining pills that he had refined his head into mush. As expected, after a moment of furious silence, it was like a volcano had erupted. Those disciples began to shout with even greater fury. Ha ha ha. Do you see? This is Pill Valley's true face. They tricked us with bait and then left the good stuff for their own people. These words came straight out of Pill Valley's genius disciple, so remember them, shouted an expert from the neutral camp. HMPH, it's all recorded. I'll even give you copies of this photographic jade. Hopefully, it can spread throughout the world so that everyone can see Pill Valley's true face, said one expert, holding up a photographic jade. The face of that disciple immediately turned white. He had only been yelling some angry words. Although they were the truth, such things couldn't be said out loud. This was equivalent to admitting to everything. 
He hastily said. I was just caught up in a fit of rage. You can't take it as true. A fit of rage? Don't worry about it. Things that people say in a rage are always true. And what we wanted was the truth. Sneered someone. I. That disciple suddenly coughed up blood. Pill Valley definitely couldn't admit to such a thing. To appease people's anger, they would have to pay quite a bit of compensation and set up a scapegoat to take the blame. Now it seemed that he was about to take the position of scapegoat. This was what the expression trouble comes from the mouth meant. Coughing up blood to look pitiful? I'll tell you, that's useless, said a disciple. However, at this moment, another disciple said, now isn't the time to fight. Long Chen has cut down the divine pillars, evening out the distribution of the Grand Dao energy. Let's hurry and absorb it. Since we're already here, we can't waste this chance. The speaker was the Yun Yang Sword Sects Lu Zichuan. He had previously been on one of the divine pillars. Although his words were very reasonable, he was clearly on the side of Pill Valley. The meaning was that the process wasn't important. The real important thing was that everyone was benefiting. If they could awaken their manifestations, it would be a huge celebration. Why bother quibbling about the process? Through this reminder, those experts shut their mouths and spread out, once more attuning themselves to the dense Grand Dao energy in the air. After this much time, Shang Shianba's arm had managed to grow out again, but he no longer had the courage to charge into the Brahma Divine Palace. Truly absurd looking at the gates to the palace, Shang Shianba and Len Wufeng both said the same thing. What kind of logic was it that allowed Long Chen to enter the Brahma Divine Palace after plundering, destroying, and being so disrespectful? Yet they were looked outside. Even Pill Valley's people were refused. Although such logic should not exist in this world, no one dared to go argue with the Brahma Divine Palace about it. People could only sigh. Other than envy, they also felt admiration for Long Chen. He definitely wasn't human. He had to be a monster. Everyone surrounded the Brahma Divine Palace. The Grand Dao energy was the densest around it. It was like a whirlpool. And this place was the optimal cultivation region. The gate slammed shut behind Long Chen. He was within a vast and empty room, the sound of the door slamming still echoing. Evil Moon, was I a bit too impulsive? Is there a time when you aren't impulsive? Retorted Evil Moon. Evil Moon couldn't focus on just absorbing the energy of the Divine Pillars. It had to split its attention and was now also keeping watch over what was happening on Long Chen's side. It was prepared to come help him at any moment. At the center of the giant room was a throne with a man seated on it. It was another statue. There were no divine runes on this statue. But as soon as Long Chen saw it, his hair stood on end. He felt like a pair of sharp eyes were locked onto him. Lord Brahma. Long Chen's heart pounded. This statue looked the same as one of the statues by Pill Valley's gates. One of their two gods. Lord Brahma. This statue depicted Lord Brahma sitting cross-legged. His eyes closed in meditation. His hands were placed on his knees and were forming a strange seal. Although there were no divine runes around it, despite the fact that it was just sitting there quietly, Long Chen couldn't stop his heart from pounding wildly. This statue gave him a sensation of immense danger. Be careful. This is a true divine inheritance statue, said Evil Moon heavily. What is that? asked Long Chen. Most of the divine statues you've seen are ones that gather faith energy and form a connection with the god. Those statues at Pill Valley's gates are like that. But this statue contains a trace of the god's true divine energy. It is left behind as a blessing to his descendants. So, don't do anything stupid like attack it. You'll definitely be instantly annihilated so this statue contains a trace of Lord Brahma's divine will. Asked Long Chen. I wouldn't go that far. In my current state, I cannot accurately judge. But based on the fluctuations, it should just contain divine energy and none of the god's actual will. Then why not test it with a slash? If we can make it bleed, you can absorb its divine energy, said Long Chen boldly. Are you crazy? That's absolutely impossible. The divine energy inside is on a completely different level. It can only be accessed by someone that he has approved in advance. That divine energy inside is only for his descendants. If anyone else touched it, they would be killed. I'm not even close to being able to absorb that kind of divine energy. Fine, then I'll let you off for today, 
Long Chen looked at the statue hatefully. With his character, he should have at least pissed on the statue today, but perhaps the will within him disdained to do such a thing. This statue of Lord Brahma looked even more imposing than the one by the gates of Pill Valley. He looked young and handsome, having a faint smile and giving off a peaceful feeling. Long Chen did his best not to be affected by his will as he examined the statue. His nose is narrow, his lips are thin, his chin is sharp, and with that cold appearance, he's definitely not a good fellow even after becoming a god, said Long Chen disdainfully. You can read faces, asked Devil Moon. Anything relating to conning people, I know a bit, Long Chen nodded. From the eastern wasteland to the central plains, Long Chen had seen countless people. He had his own way to judge others. Although he wouldn't say he could see through a person's heart with a look, he was pretty good at guessing their basic nature. Even without being influenced by the will of the pill sovereign, he didn't judge this Lord Brahma to be a good character. Just what kind of existence was the pill sovereign? Why was it that it would have such immense hatred for Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight? Could it be that the pill sovereign had been on the same level as those two gods? Walking around the statue, Long Chen saw a staircase leading up. He carefully walked up. Upon reaching the second level, he was surprised to see that while the first level had been huge, this second level was much smaller. It looked to only be a few hundred meters in diameter. In the center of the second level, he saw a square divine platform. There was a foot-long sphere on top of it. It was like a revolving red sun emitting a beautiful light. Looking around, he didn't see anyone else. He walked closer to the sphere, and he noticed that there were runes flowing within it. Those are inheritance runes. Long Chen was happily surprised to see this. These inheritance runes were imbued with spiritual marks to pass on knowledge. Looking closely at it, he deduced. Based on the fluctuations, I'd say that it was used recently. The pill fairy's image appeared in his mind. She had clearly come and received the inheritance before leaving. Long Chen slowly reached out toward the sphere. However, some invisible force kept him from touching it. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. This was Lord Brahma's inheritance and was clearly not for outsiders. He had an urge to cut it, but ignoring whether or not he could, if he broke it, the inheritance runes would fade as well. After thinking about it, Long Chen suddenly ran down the stairs to the statue and took out Evil Moon. What are you doing? You can't cut him, shouted Evil Moon. Do you think I'm such an unreliable person? I'm not cutting him. Long Chen gently used Evil Moon to cut across Lord Brahma's face. The golden gilt on top of Lord Brahma's statue slowly fell. It actually had fluctuations of divine energy and Long Chen took it away. Evil Moon instantly understood. So Long Chen wanted to cover himself up with this golden light. It sighed, wondering just how Long Chen's brain worked. Be careful not to touch the actual statue. If you provoke the divine energy inside, you'll die, warned Evil Moon. Don't worry, I've studied engraving before Long Chen chortled. A word slowly appeared on Lord Brahma's forehead. Bastard. Evil Moon was speechless. He. What bold and graceful calligraphy. Well written, if I do say so myself. Looking at his masterpiece, Long Chen nodded in admiration. When Evil Moon looked at the writing, it felt it to be the scribbling of a child. If you're so confident about it, why not leave behind your name so that your legacy will be preserved? Cough. Well, you know I'm rather low-key. Being arrogant isn't my style. Not leaving your name after doing good deeds. That's the way of the king said Long Chen righteously. After saying that, Long Chen took away the guilt he had cut off. He refined it into a glove, but then his face grew hot as he realized he had made an extra finger. Whatever, it's good enough. Long Chen walked back up with the glove. He slowly reached toward the sphere, and this time it didn't push him back. He, Long Chen's hand finally touched the sphere. It shivered, but there was no further reaction. The inheritance runes didn't come toward him. You're not coming? Then I'll take you myself. Long Chen's spiritual strength surged out. A flood of information suddenly poured into Long Chen's brain. An 11th tier medicinal pill. Long Chen was delighted. All kinds of medicinal pill formulas were appearing in his mind. With 11th tier medicinal pills, he could finally cultivate faster. Time passed bit by bit, while more and more pill formulas appeared in his head. Fortunately, 
His spiritual strength was strong enough to accept so much information. Anyone else would have had their soul crumble from this torrent. Suddenly, sacred chanting appeared in Long Chen's mind. Hearing that sound, Long Chen's body shook. The third volume of the Nirvana scripture, the first and second volumes of the scripture rang out in his mind at the same time. They combined together. Long Chen felt like he had already known the scripture. It was incredibly familiar, and so he memorized it just after hearing it once. However, the inheritance caused the scripture to ring out from start to end three times for him. After that, the runes of the sphere dimmed as if they had used up all their energy. As for the divine platform beneath the sphere, it lit up, sending surges of divine energy into the sphere. Long Chen looked around, confirming there was nothing off. He set off for the third level. Upon reaching the third level, he almost didn't dare to believe his eyes. The third level was a giant pool. At the center was a gushing fountain, and at the mouth of the fountain was a fairy-like woman sitting. It was the pill fairy, Yu Kingsuan. There wasn't even an inch of clothing on her right now. Her jade-like skin was fully revealed to Long Chen. Within the water was immortal mist that curled around her. Entering her body Novaloon.com Although Long Chen was no longer an amateur in that regard, his throat became dry, and his heart pounded wildly. Can you grow up? You're someone who's even taken a god, said Evil Moon disdainfully. TCH, shut up. My dreams of a beautiful life were ruined by her, raged Long Chen. That legendary most amazing experience of one's life had occurred twice to him, without him feeling happy in the slightest. One was forced by someone, and one was forcing someone. That feeling wasn't the same as the legend said. A good person doesn't peek. A good person doesn't peek. Long Chen muttered to himself. Shameless. If you're not peeking, why are your eyes open so wide? Said Evil Moon. Long Chen's eyes were still firmly glued to the pill fairy. She's actually not the slightest bit inferior to Len Yuian. I didn't expect her to be so impressive. Cough. I mean. A good person doesn't peek. It was only with supreme willpower that Long Chen managed to look away from the pill fairy's body and examine the surroundings. The third level was the top. The only thing present was that pool. A jet of water came from an opening at the center, and the pill fairy was sitting there, immersed in the water. Her eyes were closed, but her appearance was no longer like that of a gentle big sister. She was like an untouchable immortal instead. This water... Long Chen reached out to touch the pool, only to be absolutely stunned. This wasn't water, it was fire. Black smoke instantly came from his fingers. Despite pulling back immediately, his fingers had turned black. First on the earth flame rankings, the inverse Tao water spirit flame, Long Chen immediately realized what it was. This was a legendary existence and the most mysterious existence on the earth flame rankings to the point that people questioned whether or not it existed. Just how powerful was Long Chen's physical body currently? But just touching it had roasted his fingers. If he had been so careless as to jump in, wouldn't he have been incinerated? The name of the inverse Tao water spirit flame was tastefully chosen. Since ancient times, it was known by everyone that water and fire were incompatible. But the inverse Tao water spirit flame actually possessed the power of water and fire. It could take on the appearance of water as well as fire. It was something in defiance of the natural order and was a terrifying existence. Long Chen looked at the pill fairy. She was still expressionless, seeming to not know that he had come. The power of the inverse Tao water spirit flame was currently merging into her body. She is slowly refining the inverse Tao water spirit flame. Long Chen knew that the pill fairy was the true master of this place. She was the one with Lord Brahma's approval and everything here was arranged for her. Eventually, she would become the master of this inverse Tao water spirit flame as well. Evil Moon, do you think killing people is better or swindling them? Asked Long Chen. Killing, said Evil Moon directly, seeming to understand something. Yes, I also think like that. The current pill fairy is foreign to me. It shouldn't be too hard to attack her. Long Chen nodded as if that had been exactly what he was thinking. Actually. I was saying that killing is wrong, said Evil Moon. You're right, killing is wrong. Although I feel like the current pill fairy is a strong foe, we were once friends. I even gave her the jewel blood jade orchid. Killing her definitely isn't good, said Long Chen. 
How are you so shameless? Why did you bother asking? In any case, with your shamelessness, whatever you say is right. Cursed Evil Moon. What's wrong with you? I'm trying to comfort myself. I need someone else's support to make this decision. Long Chen was conflicted. If it was anyone else, he could be decisive. But it was the Pill Fairy. She had once let him off in a critical moment, willingly taking on the calamity he had provoked. The current Pill Fairy has already changed. Due to receiving the God's blessing, she lives for her God. Considering your enmity with Pill Valley, she is definitely your mortal enemy. Attacking her would be your best option. One must be decisive, said Evil Moon. The current Pill Fairy was Pill Valley's divine daughter, the God's representative in this world. Long Chen was fated to be her mortal enemy. Evil Moon knew that Long Chen wouldn't kill her, but as long as he ruined her inheritance, he might end up saving his own life in the future. If she is my enemy, we will have an above board fight. I'll stick to my original plan and split it evenly. Long Chen awoke Huo Long, who was in seclusion. When Huo Long saw the inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame, it surprisingly didn't show any excitement. Instead, it became afraid. Long Chen had been planning on letting it absorb half of this flame, but now he found that Huo Long didn't dare to absorb it. Really? You can't absorb it? Long Chen was startled. Having absorbed so many Earth Flame Spirit Birthing Beads, Huo Long's intelligence had grown to a level that it could communicate easier with Long Chen. It said that there was water attribute energy within it, which was poisonous to Huo Long. Long Chen couldn't help being disappointed. The number one flame on the Earth Flame rankings had heaven defying power. It would be incredibly regretful if Huo Long couldn't refine it. However, Huo Long also said that while its current power was limited, it might be possible for it to refine the inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame once it finished digesting all the previous energy it had devoured. That made Long Chen feel a bit better. But then the question was, how was he supposed to gather the inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame without disturbing the Pill Fairy? He slowly formed hand seals, connecting with the primal chaos space. If he wanted to gather the inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame, he would need the primal chaos space. All previous Earth Flames had been completely suppressed by the Primal Chaos Bead. However, this was the Inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame. Long Chen couldn't help being nervous. If the Inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame were to incinerate the Primal Chaos space, he would essentially be crippled. Without the medicinal fields inside, he wouldn't be able to refine pills to cultivate. Just as Long Chen was preparing to carefully withdraw a bit of the Inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame, before he could even suck away a drop, the entire palace shook intensely. Jumping, Long Chen hastily stopped. Looking at the pill fairy, he saw that she hadn't awoken. Sweat dripped down his back. How had this caused such a huge disturbance? Without the primal chaos bead, how was he supposed to take the inverse Tao water spirit flame? With his hands? Wasn't that suicide? He took out a divine item. It was a curious divine item that looked like a ladle. It was something he had obtained from a corrupt expert. He carefully tried scooping out some, only for the ladle to fracture before he could even send it into the primal chaos space. Damn, this flame is absolutely terrifying. I have to get it. Evil Moon, do you have any ideas? Asked Long Chen. What ideas could I possibly have? If even you couldn't come up with anything, don't turn to me. Also, don't even think about using me for this. Although I might not be afraid of this inverse Tao water spirit flame, I can't gather it, said Evil Moon. That was true. After all, Evil Moon was a saber, not a storage item. Long Chen also couldn't force it. If he awoke the pill fairy, that would be awkward. After all, she was currently naked. He walked around the pool, finding that the pool was carved into a glossy stone. He then tried to carve out part of the stone to see if he could scoop up the flame with it but the stone was protected by a formation. What should I do? Long Chen started to panic. This inverse Tao water spirit flame was a priceless treasure. If he could obtain it, it would become a life-saving trump card. But he couldn't think of anything that would work. Was he really supposed to use his hands? Just how long would it take to scoop out half of the pool that way? Ah, Long Chen suddenly clapped his forehead. Sitting on the edge of the pool, he focused on himself. The Nirvana scripture began to ring out within his mind. 
runes appeared on Long Chen's body, covered by those runes. Long Chen slowly touched the pool with his hand. Long Chen slowly placed his hand inside the pool. The runes covering his body were an ability he had gained after the three volumes of the Nirvana scripture had merged together. It was strange to describe it, but Long Chen seemed to feel like he had possessed this skill before and was using it naturally. The runes blocked the inverse Tao water spirit flame from touching his hand. He no longer felt its terrifying heat, nor did it burn his hand. It works. Long Chen slowly stepped into the pool. With the protection of the runes, the inverse Tao water spirit flame wasn't harming him. However, he was still cautious, only slowly fully immersing himself within the pool. He paused for a moment like this, and only after confirming that there were no issues did he continue deeper Novaloon.com Once he was within the pool he realized that it was even deeper than he had thought. It was actually so deep that he couldn't see the bottom. He had an urge to look at the bottom, but he didn't quite dare to do such a thing. If his runes failed at any moment during that journey, there was no way he would be able to return alive. At a few meters, Long Chen stopped going any deeper. He called out Huo Long. Huo Long felt an instinctual fear for the inverse Tao water spirit flame. Long Chen had to comfort it for a long time before it slowly appeared on his arm and carefully devoured a bit of the inverse Tao water spirit flame. Fortunately, this inverse Tao water spirit flame was just a form of energy, not an earth flame spirit beast. Otherwise, it would be impossible to subdue it. Perhaps it was precisely because the inverse Tao water spirit flame was so terrifying that this special environment had been made for it, specifically to limit its intelligence and prevent it from transforming into an earth flame spirit beast. The inverse Tao water spirit flame was currently masterless. Only now was it possible to devour it without it resisting. For the first time, Huo Long didn't dare to absorb too much. It only devoured a tiny amount before returning to the primal chaos space. When he spat it out, the inverse Tao water spirit flame fell to the ground like a raindrop. You can't let it land on the ground. Make it float in the air, cried out Long Chen. If the inverse Tao water spirit flame were to touch the ground, it would instantly incinerate the surrounding trees and plants. That was not what he wanted. It was unknown whether or not the primal chaos beat heard his cry, but the sky shook slightly, and an invisible energy caused the inverse Tao water spirit flame to fly into the sky, making it float there far away from the ground. Seeing that, Long Chen sighed with relief. However, Huo Long was still afraid and only dared to absorb tiny amounts from Long Chen's arm before leaving. It was only after several tests that Huo Long's appetite grew greater. It began to absorb more and more each time. Long Chen started to sense the water level drop. The inverse Tao water spirit flame that was sent to the primal chaos space gathered together and floated in the sky just like a giant ball of water. Long Chen no longer sensed any danger and began to descend deeper. Unexpectedly, this pool was many miles deep. When he reached the bottom, he saw there was a square protrusion a few meters wide. There was an ancient rune carved into it. That rune was unleashing divine light that shone directly on the center of the divine pool. That was where the pill fairy was cultivating. As long as he slightly damages this rune, that girl will need even more time to control the inverse Tao water spirit flame, said Evil Moon. Just a little bit. It wouldn't cause much of a disturbance, but it could greatly reduce the pill fairy's efficiency. However, Long Chen acted like he didn't hear it. He walked into the light pillar, and that rune shook slightly. Long Chen suddenly looked back and saw a beautiful figure. That figure was illusory, but it was clearly a woman. Her eyes were familiar. They were crystal clear, containing serenity, kindness, and love. She was unmatched in every regard. Looking at Long Chen, her eyes were filled with tender emotions. Why bother? Her mouth opened. And while Long Chen didn't hear any sound, he knew what she was saying. She was standing there right in front of him, but he couldn't sense her existence. It was like they were separated by endless space and time. Without realizing it, tears had streaked down Long Chen's face. Seeing this woman made him feel incomparable pain in his heart. That pain was like the twisting of a knife. He wanted to hold her and cry, but he knew that this woman didn't exist in this world. You are you. You are not you, but you were still drawn into the Ten Worlds Calamity. Why bother? The woman looked at Long Chen. There was pain in her eyes, 
because I will save you. Words popped out of Long Chen's mouth. Even he didn't know why he would say such a thing. The woman seemed to hear his words and tears dripped down her face. Her mouth curled into a beautiful smile. You are still so stubborn. Fine. Even if we're doomed to eternal damnation, I'll accompany you. The woman pressed a hand against Long Chen's forehead. Long Chen's head instantly became blank. He didn't know how long it was before he woke up. He found that he was still within the pool, but many more things had appeared in his head. The Nine Star Hegemon Body Art Sixth Stars Pill Formula. Long Chen almost shouted. He had actually obtained the formula for the Sixth Star. In other words, he could start condensing the Sixth Star. Most importantly, many other things had appeared in his mind. Even he didn't know what they all were. Just who is she? Why would she appear in the Brahma Divine Palace? Just how is she connected to the Pill Sovereign Memories questions rang out in Long Chen's mind. This woman had appeared in the Heaven Dragon Flame region's inheritance still as well. At that time, he had been looking for the second volume of the Nirvana scripture to wipe away a curse from the corrupt path. He had only learned the location of the inheritance still thanks to the Pill Fairy. At that time, the woman had said, You are you. You are not you. You are one. You are not one. He hadn't understood back then. And now having encountered her again, he felt a bitter pain in his heart. That was something he had felt before. It was the same pain he had encountered when Yis Hikyu had died for him in the Jiuli secret realm. However, now his head started to grow muddled. What was the calamity of the Ten Worlds? Was it connected to the Dark Era? He gave himself a headache thinking about it, only to end up with even more garbled thoughts. The thing he didn't comprehend was that he only encountered her within Pill Valley's inheritance grounds which were related to Lord Brahma. Evil Moon. How long was I unconscious for? Asked Long Chen. It's been a month. Said Evil Moon. A month. Long Chen hastily looked up. Only to see that the pill fairy was still quietly cultivating. He sighed with relief. At this time. He noticed that he didn't even need to intentionally use the Nirvana scripture. It was activating automatically to protect him from the inverse Tao water spirit flame. He would have to take a good look at what he had gained later. He swam up and on the way, found that Huo Long was very obedient. He had told it to absorb half, and it really had absorbed half. The water level had dropped greatly. The pill fairy was surrounded by even more mist. Now the inverse Tao water spirit flame on the surface was no longer calm. It was roiling as its energy surged toward the pill fairy. Her control over it was clearly growing greater. It seems it won't be long before she is in control of the inverse Tao water spirit flame. At that time, an unrivaled divine daughter will come out. There might not be anyone who can stop her. Hopefully, there won't come a day where we have to fight to the death. Long Chen looked back at the pill fairy one final time before sighing and leaving. He knew that it was just a beautiful dream. But asking him to prepare ahead of time for his fight with the pill fairy by harming her wasn't something he could do. That went against his principles. He quickly walked down the stairs. Arriving on the first level, he looked back at the statue of Lord Brahma, seeing his masterpiece. He nodded in satisfaction. He pushed open the gates once more. When he walked out, before he could even see what was outside, the void around him shook. A rod whistled toward him. Long Chen, face your death. The attacker was Zhang Shianba. Boom. Long Chen snorted and swung Evil Moon. He was knocked back several steps, tumbling back into the gates. While he wasn't attacked by the palace's formation for this, it was still uncomfortable. Looking at Zhang Shianba, Long Chen's pupils shrank. You actually truly awakened your manifestation. Zhang Shianba's manifestation was active behind him. Mountains and forests were stretching far into the distance within it. Long Chen had seen Zhang Shianba's manifestation before, but at that time, it had just been an image. It might have been lifelike but it had still just been an image. Now, it was no image but its own true world. There was a halo of light around his manifestation, and heavenly Tao energy was pouring toward him. It was like the entire world was blessing him with its energy. That meant he had truly awakened his manifestation. Long Chen, I said that I would personally kill you. Now do you believe me? Shang Shianba pointed his rod at Long Chen, killing intent filling his eyes. Standing there, 
he appeared both arrogant and domineering. As soon as Long Chen walked out of the palace, he met Zhang Xianba's powerful attack. The sound startled the other experts awake. When they saw Zhang Xianba's manifestations, their hearts shook. How is that possible Zhang Xianba's manifestation had been crippled? How was it possible for him to truly awaken it? It's definitely something that Pill Valley did. Otherwise, there's no way he could have fixed his manifestation. Guessed someone. From Zhang Xianba's tone, there had been a few clues to this. It seemed that he had been very confident in fixing his manifestation here. Now that his manifestation was truly awakened, this guess was the likeliest possibility. Now this'll be a real fight between a tiger and dragon. Long Chen is an unrivaled monster, but he isn't an Empyrean. Now that Zhang Xianba's manifestation is truly awakened, it's difficult to say who will win this battle more and more experts awoke from their meditative states, and they found that the surrounding Grand Dao energy had grown extremely sparse after being absorbed by so many people, but they had made great gains. They all felt like they had taken a step forward toward fully awakening their manifestations. Although there was still a great distance to close, they were further along than when they had first arrived. Looking at the arrogant Zhang Xianba, Long Chen shook out his arm and kneaded his shoulder. Who would have thought that you would also run into such dog shit luck? Looks like you're slightly stronger than I expected. Long Chen, provoking me will only make your death worse, sneered Zhang Xianba. No, I have no intention of provoking you. I'm just saying what I think. Zhang Xianba. I said that after taking your money, I wouldn't view you as my enemy. But you've made the foolish decision of throwing away that life-protecting talisman. Ha ha ha. Zhang Xianba laughed wildly. Suddenly, his manifestation shook and the heavenly Tao energy within it surged toward him. At the same time, his world energy was merging with his heavenly Tao energy. It was clearly possible to see the grand Tao energy of this world whirl around Zhang Xianba. This is the true power of an awakened manifestation. It's incredibly terrifying the experts watching were all amazed. They felt that their own manifestations were suppressed in the face of Zhang Xianba's manifestation. They were unable to absorb more heavenly Tao energy. It was like all the surrounding heavenly Tao energy had been occupied by him. Most terrifying of all, they felt like the energy from their manifestations was leaking out and being consumed by Zhang Xianba's manifestation. The only thing they could do was pull back their own manifestations. That was the only way they could cut off Zhang Xianba from their energy. However, in that way, they were unable to support themselves with heavenly Tao energy. Wouldn't this mean that in the future, they would face an absolute suppression from fully awakened Empyreans? If they couldn't even keep up their manifestations, how were they supposed to fight them? The distance between them was immense. Long Chen. I'll let you see the power to rampage through the heavens, shouted Zhang Xianba. His rod smashed toward Long Chen, and two glowing balls of light appeared within his manifestation, merging with his rod. He's resonating with the Tao. This was the true power of an Empyrean, the power to merge the heavenly Deos with the world energy within them. Facing Zhang Xianba with his fully awakened manifestation, Long Chen couldn't be careless. He immediately summoned the five star battle armor. Boom. Once more, Long Chen was knocked back by Zhang Xianba. The entire world shuddered from the impact. What terrifying power. Zhang Xianba specializes in power. Before this, he had to be in contact with the ground to use his full power. But with his manifestation awakened, he can draw out the Earth's power from anywhere. Then by combining that power with his world energy, he really is unstoppable. He's already familiar with controlling his world energy. Even if someone else awakens their manifestation today, they wouldn't be able to fight like him. He might really be unrivaled now. People could only sigh in the face of this power. They didn't have a good impression of Zhang Xianba, but they had no choice but to admit that none of them was a match for him. But look, Long Chen hasn't used his top abilities yet. There will definitely be a good show to watch, said someone. After fighting in front of countless people many times, most people were already familiar with Long Chen's most eye-attracting abilities. He wouldn't be defeated so easily. Long Chen patted some dust off of his clothes as he flew back into the sky. His expression was still calm. Only after cleaning himself did he say, Not bad. 
So this is the power of an awakened manifestation. It's truly strong. I haven't gone all out since I killed Ji Wuming during my tribulation. So I feel like my body's getting rusty. Long Chen stretched his arms and neck. It seems I can finally go all out today. Let me see just how great your so-called unrivaled power is. Azure Dragon Battle Armor. A dragon cry rang out, and a will that looked down on all else soared. Long Chen suddenly roared as white scales covered his body. His roar resonated with the dragon cry, and the sound grew louder and louder until people's ears were shaking. The experts of the ancient races and the Xuan beasts were particularly shaken. Long Chen's dragon might made them feel a powerful pressure, covered in white scales, offset by his divine ring behind him. Long Chen appeared like a god of war yet also like a dragon. It was like even the heavens would have to lower themselves before him. Some of the women couldn't help feeling attracted to his current appearance. He was handsome, wild, powerful, and domineering. With a casual swing of Evil Moon, a space-tearing sound rang out. Although it was just a casual swing, it made people's hearts shake. No one made a sound. They simply stared in shock at Long Chen. He wasn't an Empyrean and had relied on his own power to reach his current level. Perhaps the only one capable of such a thing was Long Chen. He did things that no one else could imagine. He didn't have a powerful background, but through his own efforts, he had reached the peak of his generation. This was an irresistible attraction. Although my power hasn't really grown during this time, it fortunately hasn't regressed. It should be enough for you, said Long Chen. Sensing his current power, the feeling of being filled with power was very satisfying. His 108,000 astral spaces were circulating, making his world energy resonate with his Azure Dragon energy. Although the two kinds of energy weren't merging, they were assisting each other. They formed a cycle of power that filled Long Chen. If an inferior human like you didn't have the dog shit luck to obtain the Azure Dragon's essence blood, you'd have long since died. Your current power isn't the human race's power. Your human race really has no sense of shame said Zhang Shianba. He couldn't help feeling jealous. News of Long Chen possessing the green dragon essence blood had reached the Xuan beasts a long time ago, but they hadn't cared too much about it as it wasn't worth offending the Martial Heaven Alliance over it. However, now it was the Azure Dragon essence blood, a heaven-defying treasure. The dragon might Long Chen was unleashing caused all those with any beast blood to go crazy. If they had obtained the Azure Dragon essence blood instead, then just by merging with the slightest bit of it, their bloodlines would have transformed and grown far stronger. They might even be able to awaken some of the true dragon's divine abilities. However, it was too late now. Long Chen had already matured, and he wasn't someone they could capture just because they wanted to. Long Chen couldn't help smiling and shaking his head. Shang Shianba, it seems that you really are an idiot. What is the human race? What does it mean to be the most spiritual of all life forms? It means to comprehend all deos and laws. Everything that exists within heaven and earth exists for me. There is nothing in this world that I cannot control. As long as I can control it, it is my power. Can a dumbass like you understand what I'm saying? Twisting words and spouting lies is the trademark of the human race. Today, I'll kill you to show the world that the Xuan beasts are the strongest in this world. Shang Shianba's body suddenly grew explosively as he summoned his true body. His raw transformed into a heaven-splitting pillar that smashed toward Long Chen. When Shang Shianba summoned his true body, he grew to become the size of a mountain, and his rod grew along with him. Don't think that your dragon pressure can subdue me. Having awakened my manifestation, heaven and earth support me. Some insignificant dragon pressure is nothing in front of me. You can die now. Shang Shianba's rod caused the void to explode even before it reached its target. This was his power after being fully supported by the heavenly deos. You want to kill me? You'll never be able to achieve that goal in your lifetime. Long Chen was fearless. His blood was heating up. It had been a long time since he had encountered such immense power. Evil Moon transformed into a black crescent moon that crashed into Zhang Shianba's rod. A huge ripple that flattened the surrounding mountains spread. The experts watching were still blown back despite being so far and activating their defenses. Some people even almost died from the impact. Evil Moon and the rod shook in the sky. 
These two powerful divine items were unleashing apocalyptic power. Earthen runes appeared on Zhang Xianba's rod as he attempted to use brute power to suppress Long Chen. However, Evil Moon didn't budge. It was like an immovable boulder. No matter how Zhang Xianba tried, he was unable to shake it. More Qi waves surged out, like a tsunami destroying everything around. This is your so-called unrivaled power? It seems it's not as great as you made it out to be, sneered Long Chen. Even having awakened his manifestation and merging his heavenly Tao energy with his world energy, Shang Shianba was unable to suppress Long Chen. In his bare form, Shang Shianba's expression wasn't so easy to read, but it seemed to be shocked and angry. With a roar, Shang Shianba actually began to ignite his essence blood, and a powerful force surged out. Long Chen and Zhang Shianba were both knocked back by each other's power. Long Chen's body shook, and a trace of blood flowed out of his mouth. With the sacrificial move of igniting his essence blood, Zhang Shianba's power had suddenly doubled. That was a frightening move. Long Chen, die. Igniting his essence blood was self-mutilation, but the power he obtained with it was immense. The only drawback was that he couldn't maintain this state for long. He needed to quickly finish this battle before he lost too much of his essence blood. If an idiot like you is still living, how could I die? Long Chen raised Evil Moon. A giant saber image tore into the sky. Split the heavens seven. A black crescent moon slashed down. Splitting the sky in two. Earth devours the cosmos. Shang Shianba immediately sensed how terrifying this move was. The ground suddenly shook and it turned golden. Ten thousand runes appeared on it. At the same time, Shang Shianba's manifestation also became golden. Endless runes surged toward Shang Shianba. His rod absorbed all those runes and transformed into a heaven propping pillar that met Long Chen's saber. Boom. Golden light mixed with black mist filled the world. In that instant, people felt like time had stopped. Even their souls became blank noveloon.com by the time they recovered. They were flying through the air, pain racking their bodies. The collision of those two attacks had almost blown them to bits. Black and yellow light filled the world. That light was crushing them painfully. Fortunately, they were far enough away and strong enough to survive. When the light finally faded, they saw that Long Chen's chest was bloody, and there was blood leaking out of his mouth. He had clearly been injured. Despite that, his expression was still calm, and he had Evil Moon resting on his shoulder. On the opposite side was Shang Shianba. Half his body was soaked in blood, and one of his arms had vanished. Even though he was in his bare form, he still had hands as it was easier to use weapons. But now, one of those arms was gone, while his other arm was drooping. His rod was stuck in the earth far away. The current Zhang Shianba was appalled. He had not expected Long Chen to be even more terrifying than the legend said. Even though he had fully awakened his manifestation, he still wasn't a match for Long Chen. Furthermore, it was a complete defeat. There had been no tricks. His defeat could not be more clear. So this is your unrivaled power? Were you playing with me? If true immortal Jayaoki hadn't died, and his manifestation had awakened, he would be able to crush you with a single hand. But even true immortal Jayaoki wasn't qualified to challenge me. Yet you blindly charged toward me. Are you an ape? Sneered Long Chen. When it came to pure power. Shang Shianba was a far cry from true immortal Jayaoki. Furthermore, because he was a Xuan beast, his control over techniques was lacking. It wasn't that the power of the earth wasn't strong, but that Shang Shianba wasn't able to use it properly. After mocking the human race all day, he didn't deign to learn the human race's magical arts or techniques for controlling energy. In Long Chen's eyes, Shang Shianba was inferior to even true immortal Jayaoki. Bastard. Try taking another one of my attacks. Shang Shian roared, and his arm instantly grew back, clapping his hands. His rod flew back toward him. However, before his rod could even reach him, Evil Moon appeared right in front of him. Its sharp point was about to press into his head before Zhang Shian even reacted. However, a sharp sword chi suddenly shot, striking Long Chen's saber. Len Wufen was actually interfering and saving Zhang Tianba. Another awakened manifestation Len Wufeng's manifestation was active. It formed a ring of swords that was constantly revolving. Long Chen, your life is mine. 
Leng Wufeng crossed his hands, and the ring of swords behind him instantly exploded, transforming into millions of flying swords that shot toward Long Chen. Each one of those swords was incredibly sharp and capable of slaying nether passage experts, with millions of them shooting toward him. Even Long Chen's expression changed. Lightning wings appeared on Long Chen's back, and he instantly reappeared many miles away, dodging that attack. Too immature, Leng Wufeng sneered, and his hand seals changed. Where the ring of swords behind him had been, a sea of swords appeared, surging out in an even greater number. Those flying swords were blessed by the heavenly deos, making them even sharper. Long Chen was instantly surrounded by the sea of swords. Even from a great distance, people's hearts shook upon seeing those swords. Their sharpness was incredible. Leng Wufeng was intent on killing Long Chen in one blow and wresting away the title of the Martial Heaven Continent's number one junior expert. Long Chen, weren't you looking down on me? Today, I'll show you my blood spirit sword sect's peak technique. These spirit swords were nourished by my spirit blood and it took almost all the blood spirit sword sect's resources to condense so many of them. Now they're even blessed by the heavenly deos. Let's see just how long you can endure. Boom. The sea of swords exploded. Long Chen's lightning swings blew it apart. You want to know how long I can last? I can tell you. With your level of power, I can last until next year. Strands of lightning came from Long Chen's wings, protecting him. The swords were unable to pierce through his defenses. How is this possible? Leng Wufeng couldn't believe it. These spirit swords were blessed by the heavenly deos. They possessed a great destructive power toward any technique in this world. However, Long Chen was taking them seemingly effortlessly. How could Leng Wufeng not be shocked? What he didn't know was that Long Chen's lightning had been transformed by the dragonization tribulation, and it could be said to be outside the heavenly deos. Those spirit swords might be terrifying against others, but if he wished to use them to kill Long Chen, then he was naive. Nevertheless, Long Chen hadn't been planning on exposing his new lightning so that others thought that his lightning was still at the previous level. I've experienced your technique. Now have a taste of mine. The lightning around Long Chen suddenly grew explosively. His lightning wings spread out, growing larger and larger before suddenly slashing down. Sundering lightning heavenly wings. Long Chen's lightning wings filled the sky, blowing away the sea of lightning swords. Those heaven-shaking wings then slashed down at Leng Wufeng. Unending blood sword divine ring. Leng Wufeng retreated, lengthening his distance from Long Chen. In the blink of an eye, he had completed seven different hand seals, condensing a giant ring of spirit swords in front of him. The sword ring spun continuously and the surrounding heavenly Tao energy surged toward it like it was a gaping maw. Boom. The lightning wings smashed into the sword ring, and it instantly exploded, completely unable to endure Long Chen's power. Even Long Chen was surprised. He hadn't expected Lai Long's power to have grown to such a level. All the power Long Chen was using was Lai Long's. He could no longer draw any thunder force out of the air because he was in front of an Empyrean with a fully awakened manifestation. But just Lai Long's power alone was enough to destroy Leng Wufeng's absolute defense. It seemed the dragonization tribulation had allowed Lai Long to transform. It also possessed its own dragon might now. Although it wasn't powerful, it was definitely there. His wings destroyed Leng Wufeng's defense, and he switched out Devil Moon for a lightning spear, stabbing it at Leng Wufeng. Leng Wufeng's expression changed. His spirit swords were actually suppressed by Long Chen's lightning. Seeing Long Chen's lightning spear shooting toward him, he took out a transparent sword. As his sword swung through the air, the void was sliced apart, forming a twisting space. Long Chen's lightning spear actually deviated from its path. Heavens, this is spatial power. How can Leng Wufeng control a power on that level? Countless experts cried out in shock. That was something that only Nether Passage experts were supposed to be able to control. It had nothing to do with power but a cultivation base realm. Long Chen merely snorted. His lightning spear suddenly exploded, sending lightning runes in every direction. Leng Wufeng had been preparing a counterattack when Long Chen actually detonated his spear. That terrifying power completely swept away his spatial distortion and blew him back. He hacked up blood. Just some superficial spatial skill. I'd be too embarrassed to bring out such a thing. 
Long Chen suddenly stamped on the air, and lightning exploded out of him. He suddenly split into two people, coming at Leng Wufeng from two different directions. Not good. Leng Wufeng's expression completely changed. One had to be a clone and one had to be the true body, but the two of them were identical. Even the spiritual fluctuations were the exact same. After all, Lai Long shared the same soul as Long Chen. It was not a spirit beast that Long Chen had been raising but his most trusted companion who was closest to him. So Lai Long's clone of him was practically identical to Long Chen. It was almost impossible to tell the difference. Leng Wufeng instantly turned white. Long Chen's combat power far surpassed his expectations. If he focused all his power on one side, he might face a sudden attack from the other side. If he split his power, he wouldn't be able to block the real one. Just at this moment, a giant rod smashed through the air at one of the Long Chen's. Shang Shianba had come back. Seeing that, Leng Wufeng was ecstatic and immediately caused the Sea of Swords to transform into two rings of swords that whirled toward Long Chen. Two explosive sounds rang out. What shocked everyone was that both Long Chen's exploded, transforming into sparks of lightning. Not good. Shang Shianba and Leng Wufeng cried out at the same time. They instantly realized that those two were clones. At this time, killing intent appeared behind them, causing them to shiver. A sensation of death enveloped them. At some unknown point, Long Chen had appeared behind them. Evil Moon was already raised high. Just at this moment, Long Chen's heart shook, and he gave up the attack he was preparing, instead slashing Evil Moon behind him. Boom. Evil Moon met a black sword. Long Chen was shocked to sense the power of his attack rapidly flowing away. Just at this moment, a white sword slashed toward Long Chen and he hastily blocked it with Evil Moon, only to be sent flying. He coughed up blood, his hand broken. Long Chen stabilized in the air, looking at a man with two swords in his hands, one white and one black. The black was as black as ink, while the white was as white as jade. The Yun Yang sword sects Lu Zichuan. How is he so powerful? He actually forced back Long Chen and injured him in one move. People were shocked to find that Lu Zichuan had also awakened his manifestation. Furthermore, he was so powerful that he had injured Long Chen. Long Chen, don't blame me. Having accepted someone's favor, I have to repay them. If you need to blame someone, you can only blame yourself, said Lu Zichuan with a complicated expression. Long Chen shook out his arm. He quickly healed and rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. He shook his head. Don't act so sanctimonious. You became Pill Valley's dog a long time ago. You'll bite whoever they tell you to bite. People like you can lose their bottom line just because of esteemed bun. That's enough. Long Chen, I respect you as a man. But how dare you slander me? I have my own principles. I don't need you to judge me. Shouted Lu Zichuan. Slander? No. I'm not interested in that nor am I interested in judging you. It's just the natural reaction after seeing such a hypocrite. I already said that if anyone wants to kill me, they can come at any time. There's no need to make up a sanctimonious excuse to cover up your true intention. The cultivation world is far crueler than the secular world. It's more shameless and more direct. Although I'm enemies with the corrupt path, I admire that they don't cover up their evil. In my eyes, they're superior to hypocrites like you, sneered Long Chen. Lu Zichuan was clearly someone who had been unable to handle the enticement and had joined Pill Valley a long time ago. He had no enmity with Long Chen, but he had to fight for Pill Valley. Having his lies exposed by Long Chen, Lu Zichuan was embarrassed and angry. During this time, Leng Wufeng and Zhang Shianba quickly healed, preparing to fight once more. Long Chen, how are you qualified to criticize others? You're the one whose infamy has drawn enemies all over the world. Why don't you reflect on yourself? Or did your parents never teach you to ponder your mistakes? Sneered Lu Zichuan. At the start, Lu Zichuan's words could count as courteous, but now he didn't bother to speak any courtesy. He even insulted Long Chen's parents. Long Chen smiled coldly. Fine, you win. I really dislike it when people talk about my parents. Lu Zichuan, is it? Today. If you can walk out of the Brahma secret realm alive, I will cripple my own cultivation base. Long Chen's calmness was even more terrifying than if he was furious. 
Long Chen was definitely infuriated. Even though Lu Zichuan had awakened his manifestation, even though Zhang Xianba and Len Wufen were present, Lu Zichuan's heart clenched. He forced himself to remain calm. I, Lu Zichuan, am not someone you can intimidate. This oath of yours is meaningless. Do you think that you will live past today? Keep dreaming. Ignoring the net pill valley has arranged outside. You won't even be able to leave this place. That's right. Long Chen, you're not getting away today. As for crippling your own cultivation base, there's no need for that. I'll do it for you. Di Feng slowly walked into the sky, his manifestation appearing behind him. The halo of the heavenly deos was present around it as he had also awakened his manifestation. Long Chen, don't you claim to be unrivaled in your generation? Let's see who among us will be cutting your head off. Zi Luo also came out. A large figure was present in his manifestation. It was actually identical to the corrupt path statue of the corrupt god. Who would have thought that the unrivaled Long Chen would die here? I'm already excited Yan Wei also came out. Following Di Feng, Zi Luo, and Yan Wei, one powerful Empyrean came out after another. They had all awakened their manifestations. Long Chen, you can be happy with your death. To have 13 of us send you on your way, you can die at peace. Someone from the Flame Divine Palace also stepped forward, his body wrapped in flames, including Zhang Xianba and Len Wufang. There were 13 Empyreans who had awakened their manifestations. They surrounded Long Chen. A total of 13 Empyreans had awakened their manifestations. The experts present were all shocked. They really did manage to awaken their manifestations. Those 13 experts were all people who had been sitting on top of the divine pillars at the start. That meant that they had definitely absorbed a certain amount of the Grand Dao energy before Long Chen had broken the pillars. That had become the foundation for their awakening. The other disciples that had been on the divine pillars were envious, as well as angry. If Long Chen hadn't broken their pillars, perhaps they would also have awakened their manifestations. Then they would be standing on this battlefield, not hiding as a spectator. It was an uncontestable fact that if Long Chen hadn't ruined things, there would have been more people to awaken their manifestations. By breaking the pillars, Long Chen had spread the Grand Dao energy amongst over a million experts. With each person absorbing their share, the people with the special treatment had obtained much less. These 13 people had clearly reached the cusp at the time, and so even once the Grand Dao energy had dispersed, they had still managed to awaken their manifestations in a month. Although there were many others who had reached the cusp thanks to being on the Divine Pillars, they were still the tiniest bit away from awakening their manifestations. It was just this little bit that caused an immense difference between their combat power, making it so that they could only watch. Long Chen might be in danger today, sighed someone. The fact that Long Chen could defeat Zhang Xianba and Len Wufeng was already shocking enough, but that Lu Zichuan of the Yun Yang Sword Sect was truly terrifying. Those dual black and white swords in his hands were the Yun Yang Sword Sect's inherited divine weapons, to be able to injure Long Chen in one blow. There was definitely something special about them. If Long Chen was only facing Zhang Xianba, Len Wufang, and Lu Zichuan, then even if he couldn't beat them, he should be able to escape with his life. But now, Di Feng, Zi Luo, Yan Wei, and the others had joined in. A full 13 Empyreans with awakened manifestations were surrounding Long Chen. He might not even have a chance to run. Long Chen, your arrogance has come to an end said the expert from the Flame Divine Palace. Your reign of slaughter ends here. Do you think you can destroy the Martial Heaven Continent? Your retribution has come, said a righteous expert. This expert was wearing the robes of the Righteous Path, but those on Pill Valley's side claimed to be the true Righteous Path, a separate entity from the Martial Heaven Alliance. Long Chen also hadn't expected so many people to have awakened their manifestations, but seeing them act like executioners, his surprise became anger. I can't be bothered to waste words with you all. If you want to fight, then come. I don't know how many idiots like you I've killed. Do you think awakening your manifestations makes you unrivaled? Even one against thirteen. I'm not the slightest bit afraid. Long Chen actually took the initiative, attacking an ancient race expert with Evil Moon. Even a trapped beast dares to act arrogant sneered that ancient race expert. 
He extended a hand, and a copper furnace appeared before him. Divine runes flowed along it, and golden light ignited. This was a divine ring with a very mysterious origin. He pointed the opening of the furnace at Long Chen and slammed it. A ring of light shot out of it, and when it reached Long Chen, it instantly contracted, wanting to bind Long Chen. Spastime felt like it had frozen. It was compressed by some kind of special power, and Long Chen was the focus of it. Be bound, shouted the ancient race expert. Thousands of threads of light came from the ring, wrapping around Long Chen like a cocoon. Break, black light exploded out of Evil Moon, destroying the light ring and the threads. After destroying the light ring, Long Chen didn't feel any joy. Instead, he was shocked. Empyreans that had awakened their manifestations even had their divine items blessed by the heavenly deos. Their attacks resonated with the heavenly deos, giving them even greater power. Breaking this attack had not been easy. No wonder it was said that only Empyreans that had awakened their manifestations were true Empyreans. The difference was truly immense. A blood-colored spear pierced toward Long Chen, emitting an evil air. It was like fiends were roaring along with it. It was Ziluo. His manifestation was unleashing rays of divine light that fell on his body. And when they did, a fiendish aura would soar. Long Chen, let us settle our enmities today. Ziluo's spear was like a devil. A fiend desiring to swallow all lives in the world. Boom. Evil Moon met the spear. A powerful ripple surged out. They were actually evenly matched. And both sides retreated three steps. How is it? Now that I've awakened my manifestation and received the recognition of the corrupt god, I can control a trace of the corrupt god's power. Just keep acting arrogant Ziluo and Long Chen raised their weapons once more. Ziluo was the most sullen of everyone present as he had lost to Long Chen multiple times. Long Chen had already become a heart devil to him. The only reason he had managed to awaken his manifestation with his Deo heart in its current state was because of the blessing of the corrupt god. Otherwise, his cultivation road would have been severed by Long Chen. The corrupt path's geniuses all had a statue of the corrupt god nourished in their spiritual spaces upon reaching the sea expansion realm. By worshipping it with their sincere faith, they could obtain even greater power. This was also the preparation for an Empyrean with an awakened manifestation. A true Empyrean would be able to have the corrupt god appear within their manifestation and bestow them with divine power. At first, that statue didn't give them much power. It merely contained their faith energy. But upon awakening a manifestation, they would be able to draw out the statue's power to support them. Although it was only the slightest trace of the corrupt god's power, anything relating to gods could not be judged normally. Just the slightest trace of this power was enough for Ziluo to fight against Long Chen once more. This encouraged Ziluo. As a peak heavenly genius, he had been suppressed by Long Chen for too long. First, he had been unable to defeat Long Chen even when fighting alongside true immortal Jiaoki and Huo Liyan. Then Len Yuyan had come and almost killed him. After capturing Len Yuyan, just as she was to be sacrificed and her talent bestowed upon him, he was almost killed by Long Chen. Moreover, he had already been at the Life Star Realm while Long Chen had been at the Soul Transformation during that battle. That had almost shattered his Dao heart. Even fighting across realms, Long Chen had almost killed him. Then during Long Chen's tribulation, all the peak heavenly geniuses had attacked Long Chen, only to find that they were no longer on the same level as him. Of the three of them that had first attacked him, true immortal Jiaoki was eaten by wild, and Huo Liyan, who had condensed a flame devil body, was consumed by Long Chen's flame dragon. The reason that he, Ziluo, had managed to survive wasn't because he was stronger than the other two. It was because Long Chen hadn't had the time to kill him. Or perhaps it was more accurate to say that Long Chen no longer viewed him as a threat. That kind of disdain was a hundred times worse than the humiliation of being defeated. He, the number one genius of the corrupt path, had actually been viewed as a minor character. After that battle, Ziluo had almost gone insane. Hence, now that he was fighting evenly with Long Chen, he was releasing his suppressed rage. He was finally qualified to regain his former glory. His spear seemed to be possessed by a devil, howling as it attacked Long Chen. His attacks contained his grief and fury. All his emotions were contained within his spear. 
With an explosive sound, Evil Moon blocked Ziluo's spear, but this time Long Chen didn't retreat. He was now holding Evil Moon with one hand. The only difference was that Evil Moon's two dragon marks had lit up. An evil aura also came from it, one that was even more intense than Ziluo's. Long Chen was finally using Evil Moon's power. Have I given you too much face? Novaloon.com Long Chen snorted and raised his left hand. It swung through the air in a natural and beautiful arc, slapping Ziluo in the face. Ziluo had been convinced that since he had managed to fight evenly with Long Chen in the first attack, this stronger attack would injure Long Chen. But as a result, his attack was easily blocked by Long Chen, and before he could even recover from his shock, Long Chen's hand struck his face. A sound rang out like a shattering vase. Ziluo's cheek caved in, and blood spurted out. His teeth flew out in every direction. The power of that slap was truly immense. It actually broke the divine light protecting Ziluo. If his manifestation hadn't activated to protect him in that last moment, this slap would have caused his head to explode. Long Chen's slap made everyone jump in shock. Just as they had thought that Long Chen was doomed, he suddenly counterattacked. Looking at Evil Moon and sensing the power surging out of it, everyone's hearts shook. They had actually forgotten that before this, Long Chen hadn't activated Evil Moon's power. Those who wish to kill me better be prepared to be killed by me. Long Chen's gaze was cold. The power of his dragon blood surged into Evil Moon. Black Chi surged out of it, and it was like a devil was opening its eyes. A chilling killing intent enveloped them. A dragon cry came from Evil Moon, which slashed toward Lu Zichuan. The current Long Chen seemed to be possessed by a devil. His killing intent merged with Evil Moon's fiendish air. A giant saber image arrived in front of Lu Zichuan. With a cold snort, instead of dodging, Lu Zichuan raised his black sword in front of him. Boom. Lu Zichuan's black sword actually blocked Long Chen's terrifying attack just like that. Shocking others. People say that your power is unrivaled within the same generation, but it's only on this level. Try to receive one of my attacks. Lu Zichuan sneered. Slashing his white sword at Long Chen. It was quick as lightning, unleashing a ray of sword light. Long Chen narrowed his eyes. His lightning wings suddenly flapped, and he dodged to the left. Lu Zichuan's sword light slashed right by him. The sword light instantly carved a bottomless gorge into the ground, stretching far behind the horizon. Who knew that this Lu Zichuan was so powerful? Shocked cries rang out. Long Chen had always used power to suppress others. But this Lu Zichuan was actually able to receive his attacks and didn't seem to find it very taxing. Long Chen, you don't even dare to receive one of my attacks? Are you really such a coward? It seems that all your fame is fake, sneered Lu Zichuan disdainfully. He then sheathed his swords behind him, as if he was looking down on Long Chen and was unwilling to lower himself to attack Novaloon.com. How laughable. Do you think this kind of trick is enough against me? Long Chen laughed. Ignoring Lu Zichuan, he slashed Evil Moon behind him, meeting a blood-colored spear that had been sneak attacking him. The master of the spear was Zi Luo who had sent flying before. Suddenly, the sky shuddered. A giant meteorite came crashing down from the heavens. It appeared out of nowhere, without anyone expecting it. Boom. The giant meteorite smashed into the ground, and flames exploded out of it. That expert from Pill Valley appeared. He was surrounded by flames, but he was already sweating. Heavenly meteorites that expert let out a cry, and another meteorite fell from the sky. It was even bigger than the last. Looking up, everyone gasped. There were actually eight more meteorites in the sky that had appeared at some point without anyone realizing it. What a powerful technique. People couldn't help being shocked. Such a grand technique had actually been used without anyone being the wiser. Suddenly. A saber image tore through the sky, slicing apart the meteorite that was on the ground. Long Chen came flying out. Rumbling rang out as the eight meteorites smashed into the ground. However, Long Chen had already escaped, so they were meaningless. After avoiding that flame expert's attack, he swung Evil Moon, blowing away the attacks from two other Empyreans. He then dodged Zhang Shianba's rod, weaving through his enemies to once more attack Lu Zichuan. A defeated coward also dares to come at me, sneered Lu Zichuan. His black sword casually struck Evil Moon. The two divine weapons clashed. 
causing only a muffled sound. There were no terrifying shock waves. Lu Zichuan's expression suddenly changed, while Long Chen smiled. What is it? Is your trick not good enough? Long Chen suddenly sent a kick straight at Lu Zichuan's head. Lu Zichuan hastily twisted back, and his white sword slashed at Long Chen's leg. However, before he could slash it off, he was instead struck by a lightning spear. Lu Zichuan coughed up a mouthful of blood. With a muffled groan, he flew back. What's going on? Startled cries rang out. Just before this, Lu Zichuan had been so domineering that he practically hadn't placed Long Chen in his eyes. Long Chen hadn't even dared to face his attack directly. Even Zi Luo and the others were startled. Just what had happened to the unrivaled Lu Zichuan? Your constant provocations toward me should be because you didn't want me to be calm enough to figure out your trick. Right, sneered Long Chen, shooting after him. Di Feng's three divine items merged into one, and his body became covered in divine light. He appeared before Long Chen, blocking him with a runic shield. When Long Chen's saber met his shield, the shield exploded, while Di Feng borrowed the power to fly back. However, he had managed to stop Long Chen's advance. At this moment, millions of spirit swords flew over. Len Wufeng was also attacking. They all wished to defeat Long Chen themselves, winning the crown of the number one expert of the junior generation. But now they found that it was just a beautiful dream. Long Chen was too powerful, and no one could defeat him on their own. Furthermore, if they allowed him to escape today, considering his ruthless nature, they wouldn't be able to rest in peace in the future. So seeing Lu Zichuan in trouble, the others hastily went to assist him. If any one of their group of 13 was killed or heavily injured, that would give Long Chen a chance to escape. They couldn't permit such a thing. Long Chen was forced to spread his lightning wings, blowing away the sea of swords. But as a result, he lost his best chance to chase after Lu Zichuan. Just as he broke apart the sea of swords, three sharp attacks came flying toward him. He was forced to block and was knocked back. Then other attacks came, and Long Chen was forced to go all out defending. Long Chen looks to be in trouble. Only once an Empyrean awakens their manifestation are they a true Empyrean. This kind of power is far greater than ours. Even Long Chen might die, but to fight against 13 Empyreans with awakened manifestations, this battle only proves that Long Chen is the number one figure. Even if he dies here, Seeing the thirteen of them forming an iron wall around Long Chen, they couldn't help feeling emotional. Most of them had been let in by Long Chen. Although he had made them pay a protection fee, they hadn't needed to use the barrier-breaking beads. That money had definitely been money well spent. So by now, they no longer felt that much resentment toward Long Chen. Seeing an expert like him surrounded, they couldn't help feeling admiration. If he died like this, they wouldn't feel good about it but they also couldn't help him. Being surrounded, Long Chen tried to break through their blockade several times but failed. Perhaps if it was one-on-one, -on -one, he wouldn't fear any of them. But being surrounded by 13 of them was extremely dangerous for him. The more time that passed, the worse the situation would be for him. If the 13 of them learned how to cooperate better, it would be the final nail in his coffin. Any of his techniques would be interrupted. Thinking of that, Long Chen took a deep breath. He suddenly soared into the sky and raised Evil Moon. Stop him, shouted Di Fang. He knew that this was the preparation for the seventh form of Split the Heavens. That was an explosive attack that none of them wished to receive. What they wished to do was slowly grind out Long Chen's energy. The more time passed, the greater their advantage. There was no need to take this risk. Long Chen's saber was aimed toward Zi Luo. At the same time, his wings spread forming a barrier around him. The others roared, attacking with their divine items. Long Chen's lightning wings immediately exploded, and Long Chen coughed up a mouthful of blood. His back was badly mutilated by the power that got through his lightning wings. Even with the Azure Dragon battle armor, he couldn't receive so many attacks at once. Even though he was injured, they did not manage to interrupt the seventh form of Split the Heavens. A giant saber image tore toward Ziluo. Space trembled. Zi Luo's expression changed. There was no way for him to receive this attack. But if he didn't receive it, it would create an opening in their formation, and Long Chen would take advantage of that to run. However, 
Receiving it meant that he would definitely die. This was Long Chen's death blow that contained all his power. In the end, Zi Luo didn't have the courage to face death. He chose to avoid this attack. However, just as he moved, another figure took his place, blocking Long Chen's path. Want to run? Keep dreaming. Lu Zichuan's black sword slashed toward Long Chen's saber. At the same time, black and white light appeared within his manifestation, condensing into two yin and yang fish. The two fish revolved around each other. Boom. Long Chen's full strength attack struck Lu Zichuan's black sword. Heaven and earth rumbled, but there was no terrifying qi wave that erupted. As for Lu Zichuan's manifestation, it instantly exploded in size, and his white sword slashed through the air. When his white sword swung through the air, all sound vanished. It was like spastime had been severed by this sword. A sharp sword qi slashed toward Long Chen. This attack was even more terrifying than Long Chen's seventh form of split the heavens. Sword qi sliced through the air at Long Chen. Even Di Feng and the others were appalled by how powerful this attack was. Long Chen, I know a coward like you won't dare to receive my attack, sneered Lu Zichuan. Although the power of this attack was immense, it wasn't particularly fast nor did it have a lockdown effect. It could be avoided with Long Chen's movement speed. He had avoided it last time. However, this time, Long Chen seemed to have been influenced by Lu Zichuan's provocations. He actually didn't dodge. Black Qi continued to surge out of Evil Moon, and he slashed it at the White Sword. Upon seeing Long Chen actually taking his attack head on, Despite doing his best to conceal it, a wild delight appeared deep in Lu Zichuan's eyes. Die. The black chi coming out of Evil Moon clashed against the sword chi. However, the expected heaven-shaking explosion never appeared. Instead, the two kinds of energy merged together. The black saber image merged with the sword chi and suddenly turned to slash toward Leng Wufeng who was to the side. No one had expected the two attacks to suddenly change directions upon meeting. By the time Leng Wufeng realized what was going on, it was too late. Leng Wufeng was struck and instantly exploded. The combined attack continued to fly even after blowing him to smithereens, tearing a gorge that stretched past the horizon. Leng Wufeng had died. Someone who had just awakened their manifestation and become a true Empyrean had died. This death was out of nowhere, so sudden that no one dared to believe it. They had yet to recover from their shock when Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder and said to Lu Zichuan, Are you curious about what just happened? There was still blood dripping down Long Chen's back. Even with the primal chaos bead's power, he could only slowly heal because that injury contained immense divine power and heavenly Tao energy that affected its healing. Di Feng and the others were all shocked. That combined attack had been so terrifying that not one of them would have been able to receive it. It was just that Leng Wufeng was the unlucky one to be struck. The unlucky fellow could have been any one of them. And thinking of that, they felt a burst of fear. Even surrounded by such powerful enemies, Long Chen wasn't the slightest bit afraid. Instead, he seemed like an undefeatable god of war. Wiping away some blood from the corner of his mouth, Long Chen indifferently said, Are you curious why Lu Zichuan's attacks are so strange? Let me put it to you this way. The reason I was injured when he first attacked me was because he was injured by my power. Could it be? The various experts' hearts shook. Yes. This is the Yun Yang Sword Sect secret. The black sword absorbs my power, and then the white sword unleashes it back at me. It's definitely a marvelous fighting style, and I was caught off guard at the beginning. Fortunately, I wasn't going all out back then, or I might have died to my own hands. I've said before that people shouldn't use the same move against me more than once. It seems that you haven't heard that. Or perhaps you heard it and didn't care, said Long Chen. In the first attack, Lu Zichuan managed to injure Long Chen. The second time, he tried the same thing, only for Long Chen to dodge his attack. Long Chen had already sensed the problem at that time. The third time. Long Chen had already figured out how to counter it and used a powerless attack so that Lu Zichuan couldn't absorb his power, resulting in him being heavily injured by Long Chen. As for this time, Long Chen had unleashed all his power, and Lu Zichuan had tried to take advantage of it to counterattack. However, just how did Leng Wufeng end up dying? Was it a coincidence or part of Long Chen's plan? Seeing Lu Zichuan's panicked expression, 
Long Chen sneered. This is already the fourth time you've used the same move against me. I suppose I have to admire your courage. My own attacks are powerful, but it seems you forgot one thing. If I don't face my own attack head on, instead guiding it, that little bit of energy you attached to it isn't enough to do anything. Did you think turning my own power around would make it your power? No wonder the Yin Yang Sword Sect hid for so many years. Don't tell me that you only have this one move? If that's the case, then the Yin Yang Sword Sect will have to go back into hiding until everyone on the continent has forgotten this secret. As Long Chen's words rang out through the air, people looked at the gloomy Lu Zichuan. Strange expressions on their faces. Originally, they had felt Lu Zichuan to be the most terrifying of these heavenly geniuses. But once Long Chen exposed his trick, it seemed that he wasn't anything to be afraid of. Lu Zichuan's strongest point was his ability to use his divine items to absorb an enemy's power and turn it back on them. It could definitely be called a shocking move that could kill an unsuspecting opponent. But once it was exposed, it wasn't frightening at all. They just had to pay attention to the black sword. Furthermore, through Long Chen's reminder, they found that Lu Zichuan's yin-yang energy was not perfect. There were flaws. There was a fraction of a second between when he absorbed energy and when he could unleash it. More importantly, because he was controlling someone else's power, the greater that power, the weaker Lu Zichuan's own control over it would be. So when he had unleashed his attack just now, it was mostly the energy from Long Chen. Just by adding some tricks, Long Chen could guide it in any direction he wanted. As a result, Len Wufeng ended up dying without even understanding why. There was one more fatal flaw. That was that Lu Zichuan's counterattacks did not have any locking power, so it was not difficult to dodge them. Now everyone understood why Lu Zichuan had been constantly provoking Long Chen. It was to anger him into a direct clash. However, Long Chen had seen through his trick. So how could he fall for that? With his strategy completely exposed, Lu Zichuan was shocked and infuriated. So what if you know? I am still a perfect counter for you. If you have the gods, come at me, howled Lu Zichuan. As you wish, Long Chen snorted and suddenly shot toward Lu Zichuan. Attack together. Di Feng immediately had a bad feeling. Perhaps amongst all of them, only Lu Zichuan was capable of receiving Long Chen's full strength attack with his special technique. If he was killed, it would be trouble for the rest of them. At that time, let alone killing Long Chen. Their own lives would be in danger. Di Feng, Zi Luo, Yan Wei, and the others attacked with their divine items. Divine light rumbled through the air. Evil Moon danced through the air, unleashing giant saber images, while Long Chen was like a phantom, flitting through their midst. One of the ancient race experts had his leg cut off by Long Chen's saber. Blood spurted out, but he clenched his teeth and forcibly stopped Long Chen's advance. The others' attacks came charging over. Long Chen's body once more became bloody. However, the attackers were not having a good time either. Other than Lu Zichuan, anyone who faced one of Long Chen's attacks would either have severed limbs or cough up blood. Long Chen was also starting to risk his life as the battle grew more intense. Long Chen was soaked in blood, but Di Feng was almost cut in two, while one of the Xuan beasts had half his head cut off. However, that Xuan beast was the descendant of the two-headed evil drake and the head that Long Chen had cut was not where his crystal core was. There were dozens of injuries on Long Chen's body, some so deep that it was possible to see his bones. The remnant divine energy was reducing his healing speed. Everyone, stop. The twelve of us can definitely exhaust him. As long as we don't take any risks and maintain this formation, Long Chen will definitely die, shouted Di Feng in encouragement. Long Chen was truly terrifying. He was worried about someone revealing an opening due to their fear and Long Chen taking advantage of that opening. This might be their only chance to kill Long Chen, but the slightest mistake could be disastrous to them. The only reason they were so united right now was because if any one of them died, the rest might just be cut down one by one. As they fought, they realized why Leng Wufeng was the first to die. That was definitely not a coincidence. When they had besieged Long Chen before, Due to Leng Wufeng's Sea of Swords, no matter who Long Chen had attacked, the Sea of Swords would have gone to assist them. They had been his greatest hindrance. Without Leng Wufeng, the pressure on them increased. 
There were several times they only narrowly escaped death. Just watching this battle made people's hearts shake. They were all watching with tense expressions, especially those disciples that were loyal to Pill Valley. Each time they saw someone almost be killed by Long Chen, their hearts skipped a beat. Regretfully, they hadn't awakened their manifestations. They weren't qualified to join this battle. As for the others, seeing that Long Chen was even more of a monster than what the legend said, they learned what it meant to be an unrivaled expert, one who suppressed all the light of the rest of his generation. Ugh, in the end, he can't handle them. Long Chen's aura is starting to decline, sighed someone regretfully. After fighting for two hours, Long Chen's aura finally showed clear signs of dropping. As for the other experts, due to their awakened manifestations, they were practically still in their peak condition. Long Chen, you're definitely dead today. Didn't you say that if you couldn't kill me, you would cripple your cultivation base? Go ahead and cripple yourself, laughed Lu Zichuan as if he had won. Long Chen remained indifferent as if he hadn't heard it. After a bit longer, he suddenly smiled and sighed with relief. Huo Long, Lai Long, come out. Two giant dragons suddenly appeared in the air behind Long Chen. Their cry shook the heavens. A dragon cry rang out as Lai Long and Huo Long's giant bodies appeared. Berserk lightning and scorching flames erupted. The two dragons twisted around each other, forming a giant vortex that forced Di Feng and the others back. After such a long fight, they had finally sensed Long Chen's aura drop. His defeat should have only been a matter of time, but now the tides instantly reversed. One of the ancient race experts was a bit too slow and struck by Huo Long's body. He let out a screech as his whole body caught fire. Most terrifying of all. It was like he was soaked in liquid fire. Even his protective divine light was incinerated. Long Chen is risking it all. We must hold on, shouted Di Feng. He actually ignited his essence blood to unleash all the power that he could. The others clenched their teeth. They knew that Long Chen was out of energy. As long as they could endure this attack, they would be able to wear him down. And the only thing left for him would be death. Di Feng was the first to ignite his essence blood. The others also unleashed their trump cards, going all out. They had no other choice. This might be their only chance to kill Long Chen. One terrifying Empyrean after another ignited their essence blood. Zi Luo's black hair instantly became white as he sacrificed a portion of his longevity. They all prepared for a decisive exchange, while Long Chen flew high above them thanks to Lai Long and Huo Long coiling around him. A sharp light shone in Long Chen's eyes. He had been waiting for this moment. After so many days, Huo Long had finally managed to control a trace of the inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame's power. Although it could only control a bit of it, it was enough for Huo Long's power to temporarily match Lai Long. Only when the two of them were relatively on the same level could they unleash the full strength of this attack. Double Dragon Destruction Lai Long and Huo Long instantly sped up by over 10 times as they charged toward the surrounding experts. The double dragon destruction was a technique that Long Chen had made himself. It required a huge amount of his spiritual strength to perfectly merge Lai Long and Huo Long's explosive powers. For a while now, because Huo Long was weaker than Lai Long, this move had been unable to unleash its full potential. Long Chen couldn't make up for such a huge difference in power with just spiritual strength. However, while Lai Long had grown much stronger than before, Huo Long had also gotten stronger. It had devoured so many earth flame spirit beasts and finally refined a bit of the inverse Tao water spirit flame's power. With Long Chen's vast spiritual strength, the difference between them was matched, allowing the two of them to combine into a devastating attack. Lightning and flames devoured the sky. This was a truly apocalyptic attack, capable of destroying all life. Zi Luo, Lu Zichuan, Di Feng and Zhang Shianba were blown away into the distance, every one of them coughing up blood, even going all out, they could not resist such a terrifying attack, some of them had their divine items sent flying even further away, the experts watching had gotten smarter, and they were huddled together, summoning a giant barrier to protect themselves from any shock waves, however, when a giant divine tower flew right over their heads, they turned pale, that tower belonged to a disciple of the righteous path. It was a core divine item but had actually been cut in two. It flew right by them. 
If they were struck by that kind of terrifying divine item, it was unknown just how many of them would die from it. After this attack, Long Chen instantly turned pale. This attack had consumed a huge amount of his spiritual strength because Huo Long could not perfectly control the inverse Tao water spirit flame's power yet. Long Chen panted for breath. He was exhausted and covered in wounds. As for his opponents, they were looking even more wretched than him. They were still coughing up blood. Some of them were now missing parts of their bodies. Long Chen took a step, ignoring the others. His gaze was set on the person with the lightest wounds, Lu Zichuan. It went without saying that his yin yang techniques were truly amazing. Even though Long Chen's attack was not a physical attack, Lu Zichuan had managed to avoid a portion of it and used that portion to defend himself. He had endured at most 80% of the impact that the others had. Seeing Long Chen set his sights on him, Lu Zichuan started to panic, but then suppressed his fear. His yin yang swords appeared in front of him. It will only take one move to kill you. When Long Chen got close to Lu Zichuan, he actually put away Evil Moon and sent a palm toward Lu Zichuan. Lu Zichuan didn't get angry at that. After maintaining an absolute calmness, his swords danced in front of him, forming a strange yin yang diagram. A barrier of light appeared around him. Within that light were two fish, one white and one black. They spun around each other, embodying the cycle of the heavenly deos. Long Chen acted like he didn't see any of this. He continued to slam his palm down. Boom. Long Chen instantly felt a huge absorptive force as soon as his palm met that barrier. He felt all his energy being rapidly sucked away, and it was difficult to even pull back. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, now you're dead. Lu Zichuan laughed madly, but midway, he suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood. The yin yang manifestation behind him started to shudder. This fully awakened manifestation actually began to crack. It was like a perfect picture scroll was breaking down. You, Lu Zichuan stared in shock at Long Chen. He currently sensed his astral space shuddering out of his control. It was contracting and growing increasingly unstable. Don't you like absorbing other people's energy? What? Have you eaten too much? Asked Long Chen indifferently. Lu Zichuan's specialty was absorbing other people's power and then through his manifestation, sending it back out. That would require his astral space to be part of the process. If he relied on just his body, then Long Chen's power would make his body explode. The only reason he could absorb so much energy was because of his astral space and his heavenly Tao manifestation. Just now, as he had absorbed Long Chen's energy, Long Chen had activated the primal chaos bead. Long Chen had never managed to learn the secrets of the primal chaos bead, but when he activated it, it made Lu Zichuan absorb a portion of the primal chaos bead's power as well. As a result, the instant the primal chaos bead's energy entered his body, Lu Zichuan coughed up blood. It felt like a forbidden energy had penetrated his body. Getting a bad feeling, Long Chen suddenly flapped his lightning wings, retreating. Boom. Lu Zichuan's entire body exploded. At the same time, a terrifying burst of spatial loss tore through the air. Although Long Chen had retreated quickly, he was still caught by the shock waves. It felt like a hammer had struck him, and he flew back with a muffled groan. As for Di Feng and the others, they had yet to recover from Long Chen's double dragon destruction when this burst of energy struck them, sending them flying once more. His astral space actually exploded Long Chen panted for breath, shocked. He had been testing something just now. He couldn't actually force the primal chaos bead to do anything, but he could activate it, shifting it from a passive state to an active state. In theory, when some outer force tried to absorb his energy, it should be able to absorb a bit of the primal chaos bead's energy with it. That had been Long Chen's guess. However, Long Chen hadn't expected Lu Zichuan's astral space to directly explode as a result. If he hadn't sensed something wrong and fled, he would have been caught in the core of the explosion. Even the master of an astral space wasn't able to make it explode. An astral space had its own life, and while it belonged to a cultivator, it wouldn't allow its master to dictate its life and death. For most Empyreans, it was only possible to control a portion of an astral space's power. Only Empyreans with fully awakened manifestations could perfectly merge the power of their astral spaces with their heavenly Tao energy. Even for them, 
Controlling its power did not mean that they could will it to die. Once a cultivator died, their astral space would become a masterless object and be lost in the flow of space time. It would very likely be shattered by the spatial laws, but there was also a chance it could survive within a crack in space. An astral space had its own kind of life and will that was not completely subservient to its creator. So Lu Zichuan's astral space exploding actually had more power than his full strength attack. It had almost taken Long Chen's life. The primal chaos beat is terrifying. It's just regretful that I still can't use it, sighed Long Chen. Even since he had obtained the primal chaos beat in the Jiuli secret realm, he had been studying it, but he hadn't managed to learn anything about it. Right now, its greatest use was only helping him be a farmer. He always felt that to be wasteful. With Lu Zichuan dead, Long Chen took a deep breath. He began to circulate what little energy he had left. He raised his hand, and a flame lotus gradually condensed in his hand. Long Chen, don't be stupid. If you unleash that move, you'll be killed, warned Evil Moon. The current Long Chen was out of energy. If he once more unleashed such a big move, he would lose the ability to fight. That wasn't wise. It's fine. I don't need to unleash the full world annihilation flame lotus, and I'll still have a bit of energy left over. I can kill a few more of them before calling it quits. A giant flame lotus grew within Long Chen's hand, igniting the air. Long Chen's flame lotus rapidly grew stronger. Terrifying flame energy revolved, igniting heaven and earth. Di Feng and the others were appalled. Long Chen's double dragon destruction had given them heavy injuries. And then the explosion of Lu Zichuan's astral space had worsened their injuries before they had recovered. Now they didn't even have time to heal. Long Chen's flame lotus was growing larger. This attack was not something they could receive. They wanted to run, but their bodies didn't listen to them. After being heavily injured twice, their bodies were on the verge of collapse. Even their manifestations had shut down. They would definitely die if struck. As for the distant spectators, those belonging to Pill Valley's side were watching closely, but they didn't go over. Long Chen might be exhausted, but that wasn't an attack that they could receive either. However, as long as Long Chen unleashed this attack, he would be exhausted, and their chance would come. Perhaps the glory of killing Long Chen would fall into their lap. Other than that, there was also the jealousy aspect. Even if they were on the same side, since Di Feng and the others had awakened their manifestations, these people didn't mind seeing them dead along with Long Chen. So even though Di Feng, Zi Luo, and the others were in crisis, these experts simply acted dumbfounded as if they were too shocked to do anything. Di Feng and the others were enraged by that. If these people took action now, they would be able to interrupt Long Chen's attack. It wouldn't even take that many of them, but not one of them moved. Just as Di Feng and the others were about to use everything they could do to survive. A white light shot toward Long Chen's back. In that instant, Long Chen felt like he had been dropped into an iceberg. A sensation of death filled his heart. Long Chen didn't even have a chance to look back. The world annihilation flame lotus that had only been half charged out slammed behind him. While he dodged to the side, the flame lotus was cleanly split in two by the white light. It didn't explode. Instead, it was simply like a flower that had been sliced by a knife. As for Long Chen, he was struck in the shoulder by that white light. A scorching pain came from there, and flame energy poured through his body, wanting to incinerate him. That was all he needed to know who had come. The flame energy was absorbed by Huo Long. Turning around, Long Chen saw the person that he had expected, the pill fairy Yu Kingsuan. The Brahma Divine Palace had actually vanished, and Yu Kingsuan floated in the sky, holding a white sword in her hand. That sword was condensed of flame energy, yet it gave off an icy feeling. However, now it was different from when Long Chen had first seen it. Now, there were watery fluctuations surging within it. Seeing Yu Kingsuan, Di Feng and the others were overjoyed. As for Pill Valley's disciples, they loudly cheered for their divine daughter. Yu Kingsuan's expression was icy, and it was like she didn't even recognize Long Chen. Without any hesitation, Another slash of her sword came for Long Chen. This sword filled the air with mist that looked very beautiful. But Long Chen knew that this wasn't water. It was the inverse Tao water spirit flame. Long Chen hadn't expected Yu Kingsuan to awaken so quickly. 
As she was in control of the inverse Tao water spirit flame, there was nowhere for him to run. The most difficult thing for Long Chen to bear was that this Yu Kingsuin was no longer the old Yu Kingsuin that he had known. She had become a completely different person. Yu Kingsuin's sword rumbled, and arcs of flames came from it. It seemed that her control over the inverse Tao water spirit flame was not yet perfect. Despite that, even during normal times, Long Chen would have to go all out to defend against such an attack, and in his current state, this was fatal. A cyan brick suddenly appeared in Long Chen's hand. He slammed it forward. He had no choice but to take out the heaven-flipping seal. Boom. Water vapor filled the air. But when that vapor touched the ground, it burned everything away, creating a bottomless hole. As for the heaven-flipping seal, it had been scorched red. Intense heat waves spread in every direction. However, at the very least, the heaven-flipping seal had managed to block this terrifying attack. Seeing this scene, everyone was shocked. Even at such a time, Long Chen still had a terrifying trump card. Those experts who had been waiting for Long Chen to unleash his flame lotus before attacking felt cold sweat cover their bodies. If it hadn't been for the pill fairy, they might have been flattened by this brick. The pill fairy was also startled. After forming seals with her left hand, a water spirit phoenix appeared in the sky. It was condensed from the inverse Tao water spirit flame. It then opened its mouth to swallow the heaven flipping seal. Just as its mouth closed over it, the heaven flipping seal vanished. Not only that, but Long Chen had also disappeared. He ran. Only then did people react. They looked in every direction, but Long Chen's figure had vanished. For a moment, people could only look at each other in dismay. 13 peak heavenly geniuses with awakened manifestations had actually been defeated by Long Chen. He had even killed two, and then in his exhausted and injured state, managed to survive the Divine Daughter's attacks. With Long Chen having escaped, the pill fairy jumped onto the phoenix and with a flap of its wings, she vanished from sight. The path that she had gone was clear though, because the ground had turned black from the intense heat, and a burning smell filled the air. Space also twisted wildly. At this time, the other experts ran over to Di Feng and the others. They immediately put on loyal and subservient appearances, but Di Feng and the others still had ugly expressions. They knew what these people had been thinking, but in their current state, they were too weak. Hence, despite knowing that this was an act, they had to act like they didn't know. They looked in the direction where the pill fairy had gone and sighed. Originally, they had thought that after awakening their manifestations, they would at least be able to stand at the peak of the cultivation world. However, upon reaching the summit they had yearned to reach, they found that Long Chen was still standing above them. Even 13 of them hadn't been able to defeat him. Thinking of how they had sworn that Long Chen wouldn't live to leave the Brahma secret realm, they felt like they might die of embarrassment. At that time, Long Chen had also made a promise. He had said that if he didn't kill Lu Zichuan today, he would cripple his own cultivation base. In the end, Long Chen had done it, proving that he never made empty promises. On the other hand, it was like they had slapped their own faces. Long Chen was so high above them that it made them feel despair. They even felt an urge to give up on cultivation. Being in the same generation as such a figure was horrible. Zi Luo in particular was dejected, and his eyes were blank. He had lost once more. This time, he couldn't even count as a main character. He had fully fallen to cannon fodder level. In this world, there is a kind of despair called encountering Long Chen. One of the ancient family alliance's disciples shook his head with a bitter smile. I, Yan Qingshan, am retreating from the cultivation world. I'll leave for seclusion in the mountains. Friends. Take care of yourselves that ancient family alliance disciple was one of the thirteen who had awakened their manifestations. He now bowed to everyone. That was his goodbye to them, as well as a symbolic goodbye to the cultivation world. However, after he was done, it was like a great weight had been lifted from his shoulders. He walked away, seeing his departing figure. For some reason, the others felt uncomfortable. There is no right or wrong on the cultivation path. The struggle on the martial Tao is a fight, but having Long Chen in the same generation can be called a good thing, or it can be called a bad thing. It just depended on your viewpoint. 
Some people are fated not to be the main characters of the world. When they forcibly jump onto the stage, their conclusions are always sad. But I like to think of what senior apprentice brother Long Chen once said. Cultivation is not to fight, it is to protect. So even having experienced his power today, it's not some blow to me. Come, let's go, said a neutral expert lightly. HMPH, Long Chen can't possibly escape. The Brahma secret realm has only one exit. Running now only means that he gets to live for a few more days. Once everyone leaves the Brahma secret realm and Pill Valley closes it, he'll be automatically transported out of it. Then he'll still die. The speaker belonged to Pill Valley. Although they hadn't managed to kill Long Chen here, he was confident that Long Chen's death was only a matter of time. Having run now, Long Chen was definitely hiding somewhere and healing. He was actually very angry that so many people had been won over by Long Chen's power. Even though he was an Empyrean with an awakened manifestation, he didn't dare to curse so many people. Most importantly, he was too injured to mess around. If he ended up provoking these people, he might die. The battle was over. The Brahma Divine Palace was gone, and the Grand Dao energy had been absorbed. They had no reason to stay here. Following the path that the Pill Fairy had left behind, they began to walk toward the exit. However, in their hearts, even if Long Chen died to Pill Valley, the impression he had left them with would never be surpassed. Even if he was killed by the Pill Fairy, that was only because of Pill Valley's power. Long Chen had relied only on himself to reach his current level. Such a person was worthy of respect. Long Chen's lightning wings flapped rapidly as he pushed the celestial lightning body blink as hard as he could. The only thing he could do right now was run. The Pill Fairy was no longer the old Pill Fairy. She didn't have the slightest emotions toward him, and all of her attacks had been killer attacks. If he faced her in his current state, death would be the only thing awaiting him. What are you planning on doing? Evil Moon suddenly sensed something wrong. Long Chen had actually reached the exit to the Brahma secret realm. Killing my way out, Long Chen took a deep breath. An unprecedented determination appeared in his eyes. Today, whether he would live or die would be decided now. Are you crazy? In your current state, isn't going to Pill Valley just going to death? Shouted Evil Moon. Long Chen was injured and weary. His combat power was less than 20% of his peak. If he didn't first recuperate, charging out like this was suicide. This is my only chance to get out. If the pill fairy catches up, I might never be able to leave, said Long Chen gravely. You deserve it. I told you to kill her at the time but you refused. I told you to ruin her inheritance but you refused. Why are you acting like some good person now? The path of cultivation is a cruel one where the winner lives and the loser dies. Doing something like this only makes you a fool. Regretting it now is useless. Cursed Evil Moon. Long Chen shook his head. I never regret my actions. She helped me out before, and I owe her. By not ruining her inheritance in the Brahma Divine Palace, it can count as repaying her. That's like taking off your pants to fart. As I see it. You're just a love-struck fool who can't attack a pretty girl. Sooner or later, you'll die to that girl's hands, said Evil Moon. Long Chen didn't retort. Perhaps Evil Moon was correct, but Long Chen understood himself. He couldn't do something that betrayed his principles. Even if it was a random stranger, if they didn't take the initiative to provoke him, he wouldn't kill them just because they might be a threat to him. That was even more true when it came to the Pill Fairy. Although he knew that it wasn't smart, if he had to do it again, he would still make the same choice. That was because he was Long Chen. That girl isn't just in control of a bit of the inverse Tao Water Spirit Flame's power. She also has divine energy coming from the divine inheritance statue. She is a true divine daughter. Even if you were in your peak state, you probably wouldn't be a match for her. You should hide until you're at least 50% recovered. If you try charging out then, if I ignite all my divine energy, we should have a slight chance of breaking their grand formation, said Evil Moon. How confident are you? asked Long Chen. If you were in your peak state, we'd have at least a 60% chance of charging out. If you recovered to 50% power, then we'd have to rely on luck, but we should have a 10% chance. As for your current state, our odds of escaping are less than 1%. 
relying on my own power. There's no way I can break through Pill Valley's grand formation. As for the heaven flipping seal, just blocking that attack used up most of its energy. It can't do the same again, said Evil Moon. The Pill Fairy's attack had been truly terrifying. It had actually turned the heaven flipping seal's body red. If it was any other divine item, it would have melted. All right, then I'm prepared. I'm even more confident than before, said Long Chen with a smile. He hadn't expected Evil Moon would ignite its divine energy. As Long Chen flew through the air, his divine ring was active behind him, absorbing as much energy as he could to recover some energy. He quickly managed to see the channel in front of him. However, as he got close, he suddenly sensed mysterious energy within the air that was trying to secretly extract his essence blood. What Long Chen was startled by this. If he didn't cultivate the Nine Star Hegemon body art which made him extremely sensitive to external power, he wouldn't have been able to sense this stealthy energy. It was very faint. It tried to absorb his essence blood like it was naturally evaporating. It was also very hidden. Long Chen shut his pores, blocking that force. With his defenses up, that mysterious energy slowly vanished like it had never existed. Curious. This wasn't here when I came in. Long Chen frowned. However, he had no further time to think about it. He charged into the channel. He came flying out through the other side, appearing within Pill Valley's plaza. As soon as he appeared, Pill Valley's grand formation rumbled, emitting an alarm. Long Chen, we've been waiting for you for a long time. Elder Shianqi and tens of thousands of Pill Valley's experts had long since filled the plaza. They all formed hand seals. Pillars of light descended from the sky forming a giant cage around Long Chen. It was a square cage with each pillar being several meters thick and covered in divine runes. They had clearly been prepared. Ever since Long Chen had entered the Brahma secret realm, Pill Valley had entered its highest emergency state. Practically, all of Pill Valley's experts had been gathered. Last time, while it could be said that Elder Shianqi hadn't caught Long Chen, it could also be said that he had let Long Chen in to pressure the other disciples to enter the core region and join Pill Valley's side. However, that plan had been ruined. As soon as Long Chen had entered the Brahma secret realm, he had begun demanding a fee to get past him, saying that it was payment for temporary safety from him. Then he had opened the core region to the disciples for free. Most terrifying of all. He had cut down the divine pillars and taken the Brahma Divine Palace's stone statues, even entering the palace itself. That made Elder Shianqi start to panic. His plans had been completely coiled by Long Chen's unorthodox actions. If he then allowed Long Chen to escape after all that, even cutting off his own head wouldn't be enough to give an explanation to Yu Ziaoyan who was in seclusion. This prison formed of divine energy was immediately summoned as soon as Long Chen appeared. As it descended from the sky, Long Chen suddenly took out a giant pillar. This was one of the giant pillars that Long Chen had cut down in front of the Brahma Divine Palace. Using all his power, Long Chen slammed the pillar into the prison. Upon seeing that pillar, Elder Shianqi's expression completely changed, but he didn't have time to react. A powerful explosion erupted as soon as the divine pillar collided with the prison. The prison transformed into motes of divine light, while Long Chen's pillar also crumbled. As a result, Long Chen's whole body became bloody from the impact, and he flew back. The destruction of the prison shocked all of Pill Valley's experts. This prison was something even a fourth-step nether passage expert wouldn't be able to break in an instant. To capture Long Chen. Pill Valley had used their strongest move. However, they quickly realized that the energy within the prison and the pillar came from the same source, and so this clash resulted in them both crumbling. This wasn't Long Chen's power. He was simply taking advantage of the nature of the pillar and prison. In the air, they suddenly saw that Long Chen had taken out another pillar, smashing it at the formation above him. Layered Divine Formation. Divine Light Shines. Following Elder Shianqi's shout, all of Pill Valley's Elder Status tablets lit up, and the barrier shook. Countless divine runes condensed in front of Long Chen, forming a total of 18 layers, each stronger than the last. It went without saying that Elder Shianqi's adaptability was quite great. He instantly shifted to a tougher but more flexible formation. Otherwise, 
considering that the energy came from the same source, the formation might really be broken. Long Chen's pillar smashed into the barriers. They exploded one by one. But after breaking the 13th barrier, the pillar suddenly exploded. Long Chen let out a furious roar and took out another pillar. However, he found that he was already out of energy. He couldn't even hold the pillar, and it directly fell to the ground. The pillar smashed into the plaza down below, and some of Pill Valley's disciples were smashed to death without even being able to scream. Damn it, I'm out of power. Evil Moon, it's all on you, shouted Long Chen. Evil Moon appeared, black chi circulating around it, but the tip of its blade actually began to shine with a silver light. It was like the slightest spot of light in an otherwise rusty black saber. Evil Moon's tip tore through the barriers. It tore through four of them, but on the final barrier, it was unable to pierce through any further. This was the final barrier, as well as the toughest. Elder Shyanki was pale with fright. If the final barrier was broken, Long Chen would escape. Sacrifice your blood to summon the power of the god statues. Elder Shyanki roared and a blood rune appeared on his forehead. The other elders also sacrificed their essence blood, which landed on their status tablets. At that moment, the two statues at Pill Valley's gates shuddered. Divine energy surged out of them, rushing toward the barrier. Well done. Long Chen suddenly took out a bronze fragment. It was the fragment of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Before the divine energy surged over, he had sliced the barrier with it. The bronze fragment seemed to possess a special effect against that divine energy. The final barrier was actually torn through. No. Elder Shyanki let out a furious roar. But Long Chen was already waving goodbye to him. Thank you for your hospitality. Next time you have something so good, make sure to invite me. Long Chen stepped through the opening. He had just gotten through when the divine energy of the statue surged over. And the 18 barriers fully healed. Unfortunately, it was too late. Long Chen's vision darkened just after he passed through. He almost collapsed. He really had reached the point of a lamp out of oil. His physical energy, his spiritual yuan, and his spiritual strength were all used up. Evil Moon, bring me away. I'm out of energy too. Little Heaven, it's up to you, shouted Evil Moon. The Heaven Flipping Seal was also in a weak state, but it was slightly better off than Long Chen and Evil Moon. Although it couldn't fight. It could carry them away. Long Chen had just left with the heaven flipping seal when the pill fairy came flying out of the channel. Disperse the formation. I'll kill him, ordered the pill fairy. She looked at Long Chen's departing figure icily. The pill fairy was no longer the warm and gentle pill fairy. Even her voice had become harsher. Divine daughter, we might not make it in time. Elder Shyanki was sweating and his voice shuddered. Why not? Demanded the pill fairy. Anger in her eyes. Divine daughter, please don't misunderstand. It's not that we don't want to disperse the formation but that we just used the divine energy of the two god statues. With their energy within the formation, it will take some time to disperse. Elder Shyanki didn't even dare to look the pill fairy in her eyes. The process of sending the divine energy back to the statues was complicated and took a long time. Elder Shyanki was filled with regret. If he had known that Long Chen possessed such power, he would have used the power of the divine statues from the start. However, that energy was the faith energy of Pill Valley's disciples and their tribute to the gods. Unless they had absolutely no choice, they wouldn't use it. If the gods learned of it, it would displease them. Their divine punishment wasn't something that they could bear. The Pill Fairy's expression darkened. How long will it take? Even at the fastest pace it will take six hours said Elder Shyanki nervously. Six hours. By then, Long Chen would have been long gone. There would be no way to chase him. Elder Shyanki, you've grown old. You should take a good break. The Pill Fairy's white sword suddenly slashed down. Divine Daughter. Elder Shyanki cried out in shock. He hadn't expected the Divine Daughter to actually kill him. He tried to retreat, but he found that he couldn't move. That was the influence of his soul. His reverence and fear for the gods meant that the Divine Daughter could kill him regardless of his cultivation base or combat power. He had just understood this point when he was cut in two by that sharp sword. There was no blood that flowed. Before he even fell, he was turned to ash. Heavens, 
The countless experts that had been gathered here were stunned by that sight. Then they looked around at the deplorable state of the plaza and the giant pillar that had slammed into it. The surrounding buildings were broken. There was blood. The only thing that wasn't there was Long Chen. Their hearts pounded wildly. They guessed something, but they acted like they didn't know anything. Controlling their own expressions to avoid provoking a calamity. Your continuous failures are not worthy of Pill Valley. You were played with by Long Chen like this. Ruining Pill Valley's name and humiliating the gods. Killing you is letting you off easy, said the Pill Fairy coldly. Her sword slowly vanished. The other elders didn't dare to say a word. Many of them had watched the Pill Fairy grow up. She was known for her good temperament, her kindness, and her dislike of fighting. But after becoming the Divine Daughter, she had completely changed. No one dared to speak to her. Since Long Chen has fled, let him live for a few more days. Once I come out of seclusion, I'll take his head, said the Pill Fairy. Her gaze swept over everyone once. However, she then stopped upon spotting a pretty maiden. This maiden was known as Pill Valley's number two beauty. She was very close to the Pill Fairy and was like her younger sister. Within Pill Valley, she was second only to the Pill Fairy in beauty and alchemy. She was Wan Ching. Now she was called Fairy Wan Ching by Pill Valley's disciples. The current Wan Ching had a pained expression as she looked at the Pill Fairy. Her mouth was pursed, but she had tears in her eyes. Back then, if it hadn't been for Long Chen, she would have been bullied to death. It had been Long Chen who had looked after her and taught her alchemy arts, and then introduced her to the Pill Fairy. At that time, the three of them had laughed and talked. Long Chen liked to joke around, drawing out the Pill Fairy's laughter. He had even told her the story of the warriors of the starry sky. The three of them had been like a family. At that time, she hadn't understood. But as time passed, she came to understand the feelings between the Pill Fairy and Long Chen. Upon returning from the Jade Lake Sacred Land, the Pill Fairy had often looked at the jewel blood jade orchid that Long Chen had given her. During those times, she would sometimes smile brightly, sometimes bitterly. As for Wang Ching herself, she was no longer that immature little girl. She and the Pill Fairy were like sisters. Although the Pill Fairy had never mentioned Long Chen to her, she knew that the Pill Fairy was thinking of him. However, after going through the Divine Blessing, the Pill Fairy had become icy. More and more, she was growing unlike herself. The two of them never spoke like they used to. Just now, Wan Ching had clearly witnessed Long Chen leaving. Just as she grew happy that he had escaped, the Pill Fairy arrived, saying that she would hunt him down. Then she had killed Elder Shianki. That ruthless heart of hers made Wan Ching feel even more like a stranger. The Pill Fairy had completely changed. When the Pill Fairy saw Wan Ching, the sharpness in her eyes gradually softened. Finally, a warmer expression appeared on her face. She walked over to Wan Ching. I'm going into seclusion. Don't laze around. I will transmit some alchemy arts to you. Slowly comprehend them. The Pill Fairy pressed a finger against Wan King's forehead. Spiritual strength pouring into her mind C. She then turned and left. Wan King's mind was filled with new pill formulas and alchemy arts. But seeing the Pill Fairy's departing figure, tears streamed down her face. As for the disciples that had come to Pill Valley for the Brahma secret realm, they were apprehensive. At first, they were filled with hatred for Pill Valley since the latter had conned them. But then seeing Pill Valley in its wretched state, their furious expressions vanished. Even Elder Shianki had been killed by the Pill Fairy. What if Pill Valley turned their fury toward them? Long Chen was too powerful. When he had been Long San, he had caused immense damage by drawing out a monster from the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Now he once more caused immense damage, destroying the Brahma Secret Realm's inheritances and then escaping just like this. Although no one told them that Long Chen had escaped, seeing the expressions of these experts, they knew what had happened. Those disciples all felt admiration for Long Chen. He was truly worthy of being a legendary figure of the Martial Heaven continent. He always managed to shake heaven and earth. They had personally witnessed it. The Pill Fairy didn't leave behind any other directives before going into seclusion. The Valley Master was also in seclusion. The one who had been temporarily in charge, Elder Shianki, was also dead. There was no one to let them. Pill Valley entered a tense state. 
None of them dared to go ask the pill fairy for instruction. They wanted to live. The various elders secretly gathered, even pulling in Wan Ching. Wan Ching didn't say a word. She knew what the elders were doing by pulling her in. It was to leave themselves an opening. If there was a problem and the pill fairy was infuriated by using her, perhaps they could avoid punishment. There were over a million disciples gathered here, and they couldn't force them to stay. But if they let them go just like this, they were afraid of being blamed by the pill fairy. They didn't know what to do. They couldn't make them stay until the valley master came out of seclusion. They were guests, not prisoners. If they did that, Pill Valley would have offended the entire continent. After their meeting, they came to a decision. They would open the formation after seven days. These disciples would have to first rest within Pill Valley. In truth, under normal circumstances, dispersing the formation wouldn't even take a day. However, this was to give them some buffer room, winning seven days for them. If the Valley Master came out of seclusion or the Pill Fairy gave some directions during this time, they would have saved themselves. If the Valley Master didn't come out and the Pill Fairy didn't pass any instructions, then they couldn't blame them for acting on their own after waiting a whole seven days. Just like that, Pill Valley slowly began dispersing their formation, firmly saying that these disciples would have to wait until the seven days were up. Even after seven days, Yu Ziaoyan didn't come out of seclusion, and the Pill Fairy didn't say anything. So Pill Valley finally let these disciples out. Once they were out, heaven-shaking news instantly spread throughout the continent. Long Chen had charged into Pill Valley, played with Elder Shiyanki, and managed to sneak into the Brahma secret realm. There, he had collected a fee to enter, broken the divine pillars, entered the palace, fought with thirteen Empyreans with awakened manifestations, and killed Len Wufeng and Lu Zichuan. If the Pill Fairy hadn't come, the remaining Empyreans might also have died. The entire continent was shaken. When it came to courting death, if Long Chen claimed he was number two, no one would dare claim to be number one. The entire continent began looking for Long Chen. They knew that his injuries were serious. It was unknown if he was even still alive. Some people began to spread word that Long Chen had succumbed to his injuries. If they could find him, perhaps they could obtain his secrets and become a second Long Chen. Whether it was those that cared for Long Chen or those that wished to harm him, everyone was in motion, searching for him. After fleeing from Pill Valley, Long Chen was carried away by the Heaven Flipping Seal. He couldn't endure any longer and fainted in front of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect. Hundreds of disciples were in charge of watching the gates. Things were as intense as ever. Those hundreds of disciples were fighting amongst themselves once more for some unknown reason. Quick look. What's that up in the sky? Aya shouted one disciple. The disciple who had cried out was given a black eye, and the one who had punched him cursed. You've used that same move for three years against me. Are you calling me an idiot by using it again? As soon as that disciple finished cursing, he realized that something was wrong. The other disciples were also looking up at the sky and running. He hastily turned around, only to see a brick flying his way. Boom. The brick smashed down in front of the gates to the heaven-splitting battle sect. Who is so blind as to attack our heaven-splitting battle sect? Are you tired of living? A disciple immediately activated the alarm. They thought it was an enemy attack. However after activating the alarm, they realized that something was off. When the brick landed, a person came tumbling off of it. That person's posture was a bit strange, and he actually smashed into a boulder. That person's upper body ended up stuck within the rock. It was a bizarre sight. Little fellow, hiding your appearance is useless. Report your name, shouted one of the disciples. The disciples formed up, ready to face a powerful enemy. They stared closely at that person, but even after waiting for a while, that person didn't move. It was like he was really stuck in the rock. What is going on? At this time, Bao Buping and Chang Hao came rushing over. Upon seeing the person stuck in the rock, they were stunned. Long Chen, Bao Buping and Chang Hao had been with Long Chen longer than the other disciples. His cultivation of Split the Heavens in particular was different from the ordinary disciples of the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect others might not recognize him, but they instantly did. When they pulled him out of the rock, the disciples were stunned. 
It really was Long Chen. However, he was covered in blood, and his aura was extremely weak. He was in a deep unconscious state. Seal off the news of this immediately. Bu Ping, go take some people to search the surroundings. See if there's anyone suspicious. If there is, cut them down immediately. We can't let people learn that Long Chen has come to the heaven splitting battle sect, said Chang Hao. Seeing Long Chen heavily injured, he immediately connected it to the news that Long Chen had entered Pill Valley. All right, without another word, Bao Bu Ping set off with a few people. Everything within hundreds of thousands of miles was the territory of the heaven splitting battle sect. If there was someone present, then they had to be enemies sent to keep watch over them. If they encountered such people, they would immediately exterminate them. Chang Hao brought Long Chen into the sect. He also switched out the disciples guarding the gates and harshly warned them not to mention anything about Long Chen. He had just reached the inner sect when Boss Bao and the others rushed over after receiving the news. Seeing the dozens of wounds on Long Chen's body with powerful divine energy fluctuations surging within them, they jumped in shock. How did this little bastard get injured to this extent? The old man also arrived and he was infuriated upon seeing Long Chen's current state. The fact that Long Chen could escape Pill Valley is already fortunate. Take a look and see if you can heal him, advised Boss Bao. The news that Long Chen had entered Pill Valley had been spread by Chi Feng Su and the others. When Ku Jin Ying learned of that matter, she almost passed out from rage. Even the old man had been unable to sit still upon hearing this. He had actually taken the initiative to find Ku Jin Ying wanting to go and save Long Chen together. However, Pill Valley's grand formation had already been activated. No one could break it. That was a divine barrier powered by divine energy, and it would require an equally powerful divine energy to break. Despite that, the old man had been about to charge in. No matter what, he had to try. He wouldn't just watch as Long Chen was killed inside. It was Li Xiangxuan who managed to stop him. Li Xiangxuan said that Long Chen definitely had his own methods, or he wouldn't have charged in. Furthermore, even if the old man went, he wouldn't be able to help. Adding on everyone's advice, the old man finally settled down. During this time, everyone was anxiously awaiting news. All those on the side of the Martial Heaven Alliance were hoping for Long Chen to be fine. He was currently the mental pillar of the Martial Heaven Alliance. If something happened to him, it would be a fatal blow to them. Although Long Chen's condition was dire, he was still alive. That was a good thing. At the very least, they could relax slightly. The old man examined Long Chen's injuries. Boss Bao and the others asked, How is it? The old man shook his head, causing the others' expressions to change. Is there no saving him? Why would you say something like that? Have I not beaten you recently? Did I say that there was no saving him? raged the old man. Then what are you shaking your head for? demanded Boss Bao. Because the divine energy attacking him has sunk into his blood, flesh, and soul. I can't do anything about it, said the old man. Doesn't that mean that there's no saving him? Shut up. Although Long Chen's injuries are severe, his body possesses the ability to heal itself. His body is instinctively erasing the divine energy. Although the process is very slow. There's no danger to his life, said the old man. The others all sighed with relief. The seventh boss said, Long Chen is a genius at causing trouble. He even caused something so huge. What? You don't like it? If you don't even dare to cause trouble, what will you be able to accomplish in your lifetime? Cultivation exists to do what you want to do. To go against fate. TCH. Even now you don't understand what the point of cultivation is. Scram. Just looking at you is a disappointment, cursed the old man. The seven bosses rolled their eyes. It seemed that to the old man, other than Long Chen, everyone else had failed to live up to his special expectations. Should we alert the alliance head, probe the fourth boss, and tell her what snorted the old man? Hearing that reply, the bosses couldn't say anything. They knew that the old man was still a bit angry that despite him going to Kujinying, Ku Jin Ying hadn't led her army to Pill Valley. The few of them had just left when they faintly heard the old man mumble. In any case, I won't say anything to her. If someone's bored, they can tell whoever. The bosses exchanged a smile. The old man definitely had a soft spot for Ku Jin Ying. 
but he refused to lower his face. He wouldn't tell Ku Jin Ying personally, but if others told her, he wouldn't care. After thinking about it, Boss Bao decided to go personally. He had been thinking of sending Chang Hao, but then he thought that this matter was too important. When Ku Jin Ying learned that Long Chen had returned, a weight fell from her shoulders. In truth, of everyone, the one who had been under the most pressure was Li Xiang Xuan. Back then, he had sworn that Long Chen had some trump card and would return alive. It was like he had sworn that he would cut off his own head as retribution if he was wrong. That had been the only way to placate the old man. Without that, even if the Martial Heaven Alliance didn't take action, the old man would have charged over to Pill Valley on his own. Although Li Xiang Xuan knew of Long Chen's identity as a heaven defier, legends were just legends. It was said that such a figure could not die to man. They would only die to the heavenly deos. But things in legends weren't dependable. What if heaven defiers could die to man? What if Long Chen wasn't a heaven defier? Who could say anything for sure? If something really had happened to Long Chen, how was he supposed to explain himself to the old man? Ku Jin Ying, and the Martial Heaven Alliance? So although he had put on a calm appearance, he was more nervous than anyone. He had been forced to maintain a confident look while so nervous. I'm not doing this ever again. Upon receiving news of Long Chen, Li Xiang Xuan finally managed to relax. He silently promised himself something. News that Long Chen was still alive did not spread to more than 10 people within the Martial Heaven Alliance. They were all people that Ku Jin Ying fully trusted. There was no need to worry about it being leaked. Furthermore, since the Heavenly Fate Island had been plucked by the roots, no one could calculate that Long Chen had gone to the Heaven Splitting Battle Sect with the old man standing guard. There was no need to worry about Long Chen's safety. However, the curious thing was that although Long Chen had escaped, Pill Valley's formation remained locked. It was unknown what they were up to. It was only after seven days that Pill Valley's divine formation was opened, and the various heavenly geniuses spread throughout the continent. Only then did people learn of what Long Chen had done within the Brahma secret realm. Although they had prepared, they were still dumbfounded by what they heard. Now they knew why Long Chen was so heavily injured. He had fought 13 Empyreans with awakened manifestations, killing two of them, and if the Divine Daughter hadn't appeared in the end, who knew just how many of them would have managed to survive? Upon obtaining photographic jades of the events, even Nether Passage experts shook in fear. This was a true battle of heavenly geniuses. Ordinary Nether Passage experts had already been thrown into the distance by the uprising generation. However, after a moment of shock, Ku Jin Ying and the others' hearts grew heavy once more. Perhaps even more awakened Empyreans would be appearing within Pill Valley's camp. As for the Martial Heaven Alliance, they didn't have the ability to stimulate the manifestations of Empyreans. The difference between them was silently growing. Fortunately, Long Chen had ruined Pill Valley's plans, or it was unknown just how many more awakened Empyreans would have appeared. Their main worry though was Pill Valley's divine daughter. Once Yu Kingsuan came out, would there be anyone in this world capable of stopping her? Time passed bit by bit. It had already been over half a month since Long Chen had escaped from Pill Valley. Just as rumors were swirling throughout every corner of the continent, a huge phenomenon silently descended, shaking the entire continent. On this day, the world suddenly began to shake, and huge waves soared out of the martial heaven sea ring. The stars in the sky shuddered. All the life forms on the continent were terrified. What's happening? Cries of despair rang out and buildings collapsed. Is this the end of the world? The sun and moon lost their light. Regardless of cultivation base, a sensation of despair filled every person's heart. This strange phenomenon made all cultivators feel like the martial heaven continent was about to be destroyed. In front of this, they all felt minuscule and powerless. Certain cultivators that had felt like hegemons in control of everything now found that in front of this despair, they could only shudder. They were like tiny ants. The entire continent was thrown into chaos. Commoners knelt on the ground and prayed for the gods' mercy. Women and children silently shuddered, not even daring to cry. They were simply terrified. The various experts of every faction on the continent stood in shock, staring up at the sky. There was a terrifying heavenly might gathering. They had no idea what to do. 
Disciples of the Martial Heaven Alliance, no need to fear. This phenomenon indicates that we are entering the final phase of the Great Era. The Qi flow eruption announced Kujianying. Only then did those disciples relax slightly. However, they still sensed the twisting will of the heavenly deos raging within the sky. In front of that power, they were nothing. Shai Anxuan, what do you think? The Martial Heaven Alliance's top experts were gathered, looking at the phenomenon. It was Ku Jianying who asked Li Shai Anxuan. Li Shai Anxuan's status was extremely high within the Martial Heaven Alliance, second only to Ku Jianying. He was praised as their number one strategist. Many seniors even felt great admiration for him. Based on historical records, this Qi flow eruption is coming a full 10 years ahead of time. It's truly strange. Li Shai Anxuan shook his head. In the past great eras, first came certain omens, then various powerful geniuses rose, and then the competition between those heavenly geniuses would be fought. The competition between heavenly geniuses was a bloody and cruel one. At the very least, over half of them would die during that fight. Normally, that competition would last over 10 years. It was only when the various Empyreans hidden throughout the continent finally came out that the true competition would begin. Only at least 10 years later would it be time for the Qi flow eruption. However, this time, those heavenly geniuses had only just appeared. There hadn't been any true competition between them, but they had already entered the final phase of the Great Era. The Qi flow eruption. Is it related to Long Chen? He killed two awakened Empyreans, said one elder. Yan Nanshan shook his head. It has nothing to do with that. The deaths of just those two are unable to affect the continent's chi flow. There's no need to guess because it's meaningless. This great era is history's greatest and most dangerous era. The few of us are only witnesses to the upcoming history. But we are not the main characters everyone nodded. They looked toward Yi Lingshan who was behind Ku Jianying. Yi Lingshan was the successor of the Martial Heaven Alliance leading countless experts of the same generation. This era belonged to them. Within the Wine God Palace, the high priest was standing in his courtyard. There seemed to be a million stars revolving within his turbid eyes. Those eyes seemed to see through space. The high priest frowned. Someone forcibly changed the chi flow. Pill Valley, just what are you doing? In the northern Xuan region, within an icy palace, ice crystals were flowing through the air. It was like the very space was about to freeze. A white-robed Daoist heavenly feather was looking up at the sky. Light flowed within her eyes. The Qi flow eruption is coming ahead of time. The Martial Heaven Continent's Qi flow is almost exhausted. Whether or not it will survive the upcoming tribulation is impossible to tell. Victory means nirvanic rebirth. Defeat means being blown to dust. The lives of everyone in this world lie in the hands of your generation Daoist Heavenly Feather turned toward the throne of the palace. There was Yi's Hikyu. She was like a statue, a holy light radiating from her. Above Yi's Hikyu's head was an ice sword. It was suspended there, unleashing divine light over her. This terrifying phenomenon continued for three days and nights before it finally ended. When the sun finally rose over the horizon, cries of relief rang out. The commoners weren't cultivators. Hence, they were filled with reverence and gratitude toward the world. Those who prayed were overjoyed, thinking that their prayers had been heard by the gods, and so they had decided not to unleash their divine punishment. People felt like they had been reborn. The gods had forgiven them of their sins, causing them to cherish this life even more. Rather than complaining that their lot in life was unfair, they steadily lived their lives. This phenomenon didn't change the world but it changed many hearts. Those people felt just how blessed life was. Their grievances, their resentment, their envy, these all weren't worth anything in front of death. They all felt laughable and stupid. Some tribes and noble families with old enmities actually gave up their fighting and tried to make peace. They felt like their greed, their overblown desires had been what had drawn the wrath of the heavens. They had forgotten about everything that they already had. Through this phenomenon, one person made a profound conclusion. The greed of humans was even more frightening than devils or gods. Many people who felt like they were unlucky with life hadn't realized before just how lucky they were. They were focused on what other people had. Short people envied tall people. Ugly people envied pretty people. Poor people envied rich people. Even if they obtained the same thing, 
they wanted to take the other person's portion. Greed grew into resentment. Resentment grew into envy. Envy gave birth to ugly thoughts. Ugly thoughts could be carried out as soon as a suitable opportunity presented itself. That eventually became a habit, making people greedier, until they were willing to do anything to get what they wanted. In truth, the heavens were fair. If they gave you beauty, they made you poor. If they gave you money, they made you ugly. Some people possessed both, but then their hearts and spirits were empty. Looking blessed was just an appearance that made others jealous. Everyone had scars or things that they had to bear. People had a habit of looking at other people's blessings without looking at their own. However, this terrifying phenomenon, which had made them feel like their lives were about to end, made them realize that their blessings had always been beside them. After it was over, they continued living. Now they understood why those people who were dying always seemed regretful right before death. Only upon realizing that they were about to lose everything did they realize how blessed they were. By then, it was too late. Many battles stopped within the secular world. For at least a short while, warring and plundering ceased to happen. However, within the cultivation world, dark undercurrents were flowing. This phenomenon indicated that the chi flow eruption was coming. Some extremely low-key powers were emerging from hibernation. Did you hear? The everlasting families are starting to move. Those families from the time of sovereigns? Is that really true? It's not just the everlasting families. Some other ancient monsters are also awakening did you hear? Those unrivaled monsters from the ancient era actually paid a huge price to seal themselves within a crack in spastime just because they weren't born in the right era countless monsters have been born throughout history. Some of them rose like shooting stars, eclipsing the light of all others within their generation, only to suddenly vanish. They were most likely sealed. They waited thousands or even tens of thousands of years for the great era to come. They must be attempting to become the new sovereign. A sovereign can only be born during the Great Era. Those unrivaled monsters are probably going to cause a bloody storm. Long Chen is also an unrivaled monster within his generation. But compared to those monsters that appeared throughout history, it seems that he's lacking a bit. After all, those monsters were those who fought until there was no one else who dared to fight against them. Only then were they sealed. Long Chen. Ah. Long Chen. I wonder how he'll compare to those ancient monsters. I hope he doesn't sadly wither in comparison. The Martial Heaven Continent's experts were all tense. Originally, they had thought that they knew everything about the continent that there was to now. However, after the phenomenon, they found out that the continent they occupied had been hiding many terrifying sects. Those sects hadn't made appearances within thousands or even tens of thousands of years. Some of them did not even exist within historical records. The four everlasting families in particular were extremely frightening existences throughout history. People had simply assumed that they had been lost within the flow of time after not appearing for so long. But they had now come out. Those were families that had borne witness to the rising of sovereigns. The foundations of such families were definitely unimaginable. Once they came out, wouldn't this world belong to them? Various experts that had been hiding on the continent gradually came out, showing their brilliance. This was an announcement that this world would be theirs. The central Xuan region grew livelier. Some powers were already making secret moves, thinking about how they could form good relations with those ancient sects that had dominated their time. As the outer world became bustling with activity, Long Chen finally awoke. Upon waking up, his face was pale and he was covered in cold sweat. You're awake? Are you all right? The old man immediately sensed Long Chen's awakening. Long Chen stretched lightly. I'm fine. It was just a dream. Long Chen sat up and found that he was drenched. It was like he had just gotten out of the pool. Sensing his body, he knew that his injuries had not fully recovered. They had been too severe and would need some more time to heal. His injuries hadn't just contained world energy but also divine energy. Long Chen wiped some sweat off his forehead. Just now, he had had a nightmare. Within that nightmare, he had been within endless darkness, unable to move. He could only watch as his parents, his little sister, and everyone he cared about died in front of him. All his struggling was useless in the face of the darkness. His roars, his howls, they were of no use. All those people, all of his family, 
were wiped out by a large, merciless hand. Long Chen couldn't even see who the owner of that hand was. That kind of despair and powerlessness almost drove him insane. The nightmare had woken him up now, and although he knew it was just a dream, he still felt somewhat afraid. Old man, how many days have passed? Has anything happened outside? Asked Long Chen. The old man told Long Chen what had happened during the past few days. Upon hearing about the phenomenon that had occurred on the continent and that they were entering the time of the Qi flow eruption, Long Chen couldn't help being shocked. Countless hidden powers are appearing one by one like fierce bears awakening from hibernation. Long Chen, you have to be careful. What you are facing this time are monsters who dominated their generation. Those monsters left behind a glorious record within the continent's history, and it was precisely because they were unrivaled that they sealed themselves, waiting for the great era to come so that they might become a sovereign. It could be said that every one of them is like you, the top of their generation. You can't be careless, warned the old man. Although the old man constantly said that people had to have big guts and dare to cause trouble, Long Chen's ability at causing trouble was just too great. The old man was no longer able to protect him. Long Chen nodded. This battle had made him aware of the saying that a tiger couldn't withstand a pack of wolves. If he hadn't used Lu Zichuan to cut down Leng Wufang, resulting in an opening appearing within their formation, he might not have been able to defeat them in the battle. As for the pill fairy, she gave him even greater pressure. She was even stronger than Lu Zichuan and the others combined. She had reached a terrifying level. What about Meng Chi and the others? Do they know about this matter? Asked Long Chen. No, we've been keeping this quiet. Why worry the women? The old man shook his head. The old man always felt that men should handle things outside, while women handled things inside. Women shouldn't be involved in everything. That was his greatest source of conflict with Ku Jinying. In any case, this made Long Chen relax slightly. If Meng Chi and the others knew that he had gone to Pill Valley and been heavily injured, they would be worried. So it was better not to tell them. Long Chen tried to stand up, only to grimace from his injuries. These wounds were very difficult to deal with. It had been so many days, but there was still some remnant energy ruining his healing. Now you should know just how powerful Empyreans with awakened manifestations are, with their world energy combined with the laws of the heavenly Deos. Ordinary people are specks of dust in front of them. For you to be able to survive in your current state is already amazing. The old man had originally started to scold Long Chen a bit, only to switch to praise midway. Long Chen's physical body was so powerful that even the Xuan beasts would have to look up to him. The stronger Long Chen was, the greater pride the old man felt. Long Chen slowly stood, tottering like he was ill. The old man went to help him but was refused. Long Chen took a deep breath and closed his eyes. He slowly circulated his 108,000 stars, causing life energy to swell within the primal chaos space. He immediately started to feel a bit better. Although he was still weak, he could walk. Little fellow, you're finally awake. Here, drink some wine to wet your throat. At this time, Boss Bao and the others came rushing over. They immediately had Long Chen tell them what had happened in Pill Valley. Looking at the jug of wine that they had brought, Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or to cry. When people were recovering from illness, who gave them wine to drink as soon as they woke up? Fortunately, this wine came from the Wine God Palace, so it could be considered a tonic as well. Bao Buping and Chang Hao also came. Hence, Long Chen gave a simple explanation of what had happened in Pill Valley. Of course, he didn't mention the matter of the Pill Fairy not wearing any clothes. Hearing how Long Chen had toyed with Pill Valley and still escaped, Bao Buping clapped and laughed. Long Chen couldn't help bitterly smiling when he reached the end of his tale. He had almost lost his life in Pill Valley this time. Originally, he had thought that with the fragment of the Eastern Wasteland Bell, he could break through any barrier. Who would have thought that Pill Valley's divine barrier was so monstrous? If Evil Moon hadn't also had a trump card, he might have been forced to stay in Pill Valley. Chang Hao, what's been going on outside? Asked the old man. Chang Hao had been sent to find any information circulating in the outside world. Compared to Bao Buping, Chang Hao was more dependable in this regard. Chang Hao had only just returned when Long Chen woke up. 
so they hadn't had time to hear his report. I went to Clearwind City. There are now many more monsters present, and they are all Empyreans with awakened manifestations. I could sense powerful pressure from them, so there's definitely no mistake. The most important thing though is that those Empyreans are not the ones who attacked Long Chen, said Chang Hao gravely. It's not Di Feng and the others. Long Chen was startled. Weren't they supposed to be the first group of awakened Empyreans on the continent? It's not something to be surprised about. There were many ancient powers with their own inheritances who went into seclusion during their most brilliant time. Back then, the qi flow of the continent was still very strong, and they extracted a portion of it for their own minor worlds. Just like hibernating bears, they accumulated a huge amount of resources and waited for this one day. Now that this day has come, they have slammed all their resources onto one genius, so making them an awakened Empyrean isn't something difficult. In fact, perhaps those monsters had long since become awakened Empyreans, but had simply remained hidden. Now that the time is ripe, they are finally coming out. Why would they come out at this time? Asked Long Chen. Ah, you still don't know. The phenomenon that occurred indicates that in a few months, the qi flow eruption will occur. The earth will erupt, and the martial heaven continent's qi flow will gush out. That is the time when the various monsters will have to fight for the best chi flow. Coming out now is a show of power so that no one will disturb them when they fight for their own portion of the chi flow, said the old man. So there was such a thing? Long Chen had never heard of it. It seemed that this was an extremely ancient secret that only the senior generation knew of. Through Chang Hao, they learned that the Central Plains' four great cities had become exceptionally lively. Not only had those monstrous geniuses appeared, but there had also been battles between them, with each fight being so immense that it caused despair in others who watched. The arrival of those monsters was a blow to countless people's confidence. Who knows when we'll finally be able to awaken our manifestations as well, sighed Bao Buping. The old man's expression darkened. He was about to speak when Long Chen said, an awakened manifestation is just some mental comfort. If others have a sword but you have your bare fists, does that mean that you can't beat them? Outer power is just outer power. True power requires you to have absolute confidence in yourself. There was no need for the old man to say anything. Boss Bao clapped Bao Buping on the back of his head, cursing. Did you hear that? Does being powerful have a damn to do with awakening your manifestation? Long Chen isn't even an Empyrean. There's also Yu Zifeng who is the same as Long Chen. He doesn't rely on the heavens for his power. With just his sword, he has also made a name for himself. If others have a sword, will you not dare to fight them? Are you going to wait until you are given a sword before fighting others? By that time, it will be too late. Boss Bao hit him in the back of the head again. Bao Buping was angry at being struck in the head, but he didn't dare to say anything. The main thing was that there was no way for him to retort. Boss Ba was about to hit him again when instead, he was struck in the back of his head. The old man raged. Twice is enough. If you hit him again, you'll turn him stupid. When I beat you, did I ever hit you in the same place more than twice? Boss Ba held the back of his head and cursed. You might only hit the same place twice, but you hit me all over. Isn't that worse than hitting the same spot? Oh, you want to go against me, huh? You think that after entering the Nether Passage realm, I can't put you in your place. The old man's black cane was already raised. Long Chen hastily pulled the old man back. Boss Ba and the others eventually left. Long Chen wanted the old man to transmit the eighth and ninth forms of split the heavens to him. I can teach you the eighth form. However, I can't teach you the ninth, said the old man. Why not? Because right now. There is no one who can control the ninth form of split the heavens. If you used the ninth form, you would definitely die. And the same would be true for me. Long Chen stared in shock at the old man. He had never expected the ninth form to be like this. When he thought back to how the old man had almost used the ninth form of split the heavens twice. Cold sweat dripped down his back. The eighth form of split the heavens was something that the heaven splitting battle sect's disciples would only come into contact with after cultivating to the nether passage realm. It required activating 72 acupuncture points. What was different compared to the seventh form was that it required world energy. 
as well as life and death energy. Long Chen hadn't entered the Nether Passage realm. However, if his world energy was strong enough, he would still be able to use the eighth form. It was just that it would take even more world energy and spiritual strength. It would be an immense burden to his body and soul. Originally, the old man hadn't wanted to transmit the eighth form to Long Chen yet. Before reaching the Nether Passage realm, just relying on his astral space to unleash this attack could cause his astral space to shatter. Furthermore, constantly extracting the energy of one's astral space would slow down one's cultivation speed. Just fighting and not actually raising one's cultivation base was foolish. However, Long Chen greatly wished to learn it, so the old man finally agreed. However, he sternly warned Long Chen not to use it unless he had no choice. That was to avoid harming his foundation. By then, it would be too late to regret it. The eighth form of Split the Heavens connects 72 acupuncture points. Using astral energy as the link. Using spiritual strength as the lead. Your heart guides your will. Your will guides your power. First cultivate the path. At the rear mountains of the heaven splitting battle sect. The old man was guiding Long Chen alone. Long Chen had Evil Moon on his shoulder. His left foot was forward, his right leg behind. His body was leaning forward slightly. The foot, knee, groin, waist, chest, shoulder, elbow, and wrist are eight points for your power to go through. The power starts from your foot and then soars through the eight acupuncture points. When the energy goes from your waist to your chest, you need to twist your waist, while also bringing your shoulder and arm forward. With your elbow as the fulcrum, your wrist slashes your saber down, shouted the old man. Long Chen swung Evil Moon, causing a powerful gust to fly out. The old man blew it apart with his palm. Wrong. The instant you attack, your rear leg must press down. Wrong. You twisted your waist too early. You need to drop your shoulder, not stand so stiffly. Otherwise, your power will leak. Wrong. Your elbow must be steady. This is different from the seventh form of split the heavens. You need to separate yourself from that habit. It was several hours later before Long Chen managed to complete the correct form based on the old man's requirements. According to the old man, Long Chen had to maintain this perfect form because the power of the eighth form was too berserk and violent. A canal needed buffer room during a turn. Otherwise, the water would flow out and cause the canal to collapse. There couldn't be any carelessness when it came to this. It's about time to try it. Remember, use the minimum amount of energy at the start. Just get used to it first, said the old man. Long Chen nodded. He turned around. Turn back. Face me, shouted the old man. Face you. Come, attack. Treat me as an enemy. That's not good. What if? Don't worry about it. With your current power, you can't harm me. Fine. Be careful. Long Chen circulated his astral spaces, cautiously sending his energy through the first acupuncture point. When he had first tried using the seventh form of Split the Heavens, he had almost destroyed his meridians, so he was cautious this time. His energy surged through his foot and acupuncture points, but then it suddenly shrank down and vanished when it reached his elbow. The old man nodded. Again. The reason he was making Long Chen attack him was to make sure Long Chen used as little power as possible. This time, Long Chen doubled the energy he was using. When his energy reached his wrist, he suddenly felt a burst of energy, and Evil Moon actually shuddered out of his control. A will to tear apart the heavens arose within him. He couldn't hold it back even if he wanted to. Boom. The old man seemed to have been expecting this. He waved his hand his black cane stopping in front of Long Chen. A gentle energy erased Long Chen's power. Old man, you. Long Chen stared at the old man in disbelief. That energy Long Chen had just felt from the old man's cane was actually life energy. It had been boundless, accepting Long Chen's energy and dissipating it. That was a clear sign of reaching the second step of the Nether Passage realm. He, as the one in charge, how could I not have this little bit of power? However. Don't tell them. Once they grow up and challenge me, I'll properly teach them some manners. These days, I've been going easy on them. I feel like it should soon be time for them to suddenly attack, laughed the old man. Long Chen was between tears and laughter. 
the old man was actually intentionally baiting the seven bosses to turn on him. Was he looking for an above-board reason to beat them? However, for the old man to have reached the second step not long after advancing to the nether passage realm was truly admirable. There's no need to be surprised. This is called accumulated experience. I was stuck at the life star realm for too long. It was a trial for me, and having passed it, everything has become clear. So sometimes a bad thing isn't a bad thing, and a good thing isn't a good thing. I've already reached the great circle of the second step. Before I get too old, I'm preparing to attack the third step as well, said the old man. Why are you in such a rush? Asked Long Chen. My generation isn't the main character of this era, and our opportunities are limited. We are only benefiting slightly from this great era. This has already been set in stone. By this point, rushing or not means little. I'm happy though that I still have some potential to carve out after advancing to Nether Passage. For the rest of my generation, their foundations have mostly been set in stone. To have been given this chance to shine in my old age, I'll definitely have to go show off in front of Kujinying. Otherwise, she'll be the one shining in front of me. Long Chen was speechless. Why was it that the older people got, the more childish they grew? Did they need to fight with the people closest to them? Losing harmed your pride. Winning harmed your relationship. What was the point? However, people's characters were difficult to change, especially at the old man's age. Changing him wasn't something even a god could accomplish. That attack was no good. You didn't even use the power of your waste. You have to time it better. That way, even with the same amount of energy, the power that you'll be able to unleash will be even greater. Again, said the old man, continuing to guide Long Chen. Until Long Chen trained the eighth form of split the heavens to the point where it became completely natural to him, he couldn't use it against enemies. Otherwise, before he even struck his enemies, he would end up crippling himself. They trained for a day and night as the old man's requirements were stringent. There couldn't be the slightest mistake. Theoretically, I should make you try a full strength blow to see how your control is, but you still haven't fully recovered. However, after so many tests, I think you'll be fine. Just remember, the first time you use this move against enemies, don't go over 70% power. If you stick within that range, even if something happens, you should be able to control it. But if you go at 100% right at the start and are unable to control it, that will be dangerous. Old man, don't worry about it. Then about the ninth form, probed Long Chen. Don't even think about it. With your temper, you don't know how to hold back in the slightest. Teaching it to you would be harming you, snorted the old man. He understood Long Chen far too well. His guts were even greater than the heavens. If he had the ninth form of split the heavens, who knew what he would do? There are two conditions to controlling the ninth form of split the heavens. Satisfying either one of them will allow you to use it. What are they? One is to have the assistance of the heaven splitting divine tablet. The other is to advance above Nether Passage. What is above Nether Passage? You'll know what's above Nether Passage in the future. With those monstrous geniuses coming out now, they're accompanied by old monsters who have been living for countless years. They are their protectors. So don't go crazy. The existence above Nether Passage stands at the peak of the Martial Path. It is the top of the continent's cultivation hearing that this was the peak of the Martial Path. Long Chen's heartbeat quickened. He didn't even hear what else the old man was saying. In the eastern wasteland, someone had brought him away and bestowed him upon Long Shiang Xiao. That person had said that unless Long Chen stood at the peak of the martial path, he shouldn't investigate his origins. He couldn't help growing emotional. So the peak of the martial path lay above Nether Passage. He rubbed his nine-line soul calming jade, a sharp light appearing in his eyes. The more he cultivated, the closer he got to the secrets of his origins. Old man, is there still no news from the heaven-splitting divine tablet? Asked Long Chen. In Devil Spirit Mountain, Long Chen, Chang Hao, and Bao Buping had freed the heaven-splitting divine tablet of its bindings. It had said that it would escape on its own, but now it hadn't returned even after all this time. The heaven-splitting divine tablet is a priceless treasure on the same level as the heaven-splitting blade. If it said that it could return, 
then it will definitely return. For it to still not return simply means that the time hasn't come yet. Don't worry about it, said the old man. Long Chen nodded. Having learned the eighth form of split the heavens, he prepared to leave. However, the old man made him stay for another three days. The reason being that his injuries were still severe. He needed to rest a few days before he caused more trouble. After all, wherever Long Chen went, trouble would follow. Every bit that he recovered was a bit safer he would be. After three days, Long Chen had recovered to around 80%. His wounds had mostly healed, but there was still some remnant energy within them that he would have to slowly erase. Let me see just how amazing those monsters sealed in the ancient era are. Are they really as strong as the legends say? Long Chen walked out of the heaven-splitting battle sect taking a deep breath. A heroic feeling rose in his heart.